Titus, Amy's Bakery. Just ask me Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm doing a little um, stuff here, right? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. I'm doing a little um, breakfast video here, right? So. Yeah. How are we gonna eat soon? Soon, breakfast. Nice view from here, boy. Just waiting on uh, my coffee and my sandwich. Yeah, we had a good rest last night. Yeah, <laughs> too good. I want to thank the people of St. Kitts for their hospitality. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good service. Excellent. Clean city. <laughs> oh, no work. Okay. Clean. Place is clean. Yeah. Even the, even the St. George's Anglican Church. Well manicured. Well kept. Well kept. Uh, I'll show you a bit about it anyway. Because I'm going to come back and take a walk around. And um, for the whole church, they have their graveyard inside there too, just like us, but no comparison to here. It's well kept, well fenced. Still have their stone wall fence. St. John's Cathedral, the wall is broken down and nobody fixing it. They're not fixing it. They prefer to put up a chain link fence right between where some part of the wall collapsed. But really, there's no plan to donate, right? No, that's Look at this one. Look at this one. Let me show it to you. Let me spin it around and show it to you over there. And uh, let me spin it around. Right? That's a good view of it over there. It's a good view. I'm looking through a glass anyway. I'm inside a restaurant here. And there's a view of it over here. I'll give you some more views from different angles. Yeah. Back to snack time. Keep it down, keep it down. Yeah. Okay, this is coffee. Oh, yeah. Nice, good coffee. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like yesterday? Mm hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, drop off. Mm. Depending on what pick up it is. Boom, turn up, pick up and pick up and move on. I like your father, they don't have a thick belly. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. Lord, bless you. It is pressed. It is pressed, and so we're going to Chow it down. Oh, it come here? Mm? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
she did cut it. No, my, not, not the finger. Mmm. 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 Get back to you when we finish it.
Coffee tastes good, boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ever went to um, the place in the and says simply, simply coffee? No. Simply me. Yeah. Mm. Tastes good? The coffee is for like Americans and your pills are there. Strong. Mm. Yesterday, coffee tastes like if I make it. Okay. Home, home coffee. Twenty-four, right? Yeah. 
We had two ham and uh, one tuna fish. One tuna fish, I think. Tuna? Let me check. Why had tuna fish? Yeah. Okay. And and what? And no, tea. Four. Two coffee and a and a um, ginger tea. We had. Uh, that's what. Yeah. And how many sandwiches you had? Three. Three sandwiches. Yes. What's your rate on that? Huh? What's your rate on that? Okay. All right. <laughs> I know. I asked you what's the rate. Oh, what's the rate? Yeah. Two sixty. That's fine. Yeah. So you got easy change. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. That way? Bus station. Bus station. Yeah, we can ask again. We can ask again. Streetwise. That's the Anglican church over there. I don't want today. I either want today. Either Brimstone Hill or take the train. Remember to say you take the train if tourists are in. Okay. You don't have a choice with that. All right. Okay. Fair enough. That is why he said we go It's okay. So. Is there a chance for ticket or anything they gave us? Or Sorry? Is, is there a chance for ticket that they gave us to for the bus to, to take another bus? Because it sounds like you're telling us to take two buses. No, no, no. I'm telling you to walk across the road here. Mm -hmm. There's a bus terminal. Yeah. You have to walk. 
to the bus terminal okay. because they're not going to stop on the road. Like, All right, right. Okay. Oh, okay. So you have to walk to the bus terminal and then stop at other bus terminal. So it's bus terminal to bus, bus terminal. terminal. Uh -huh. You can't stay between. Oh, okay. so it's the very next terminal we're going to be coming yes. out. But what I'm thinking while she's stopping, we need to come out again. So yeah. What I'm thinking is, is there a number or, or something? Y'all don't have a phone, please. No. That, we can, that we can call to find out if they're doing that tour rather than us taking the bus to go up okay. and then it's not really uh, And we can't get onto it because right. since 1949. Okay, we're just having a, another citizen helping us. Real school bus. Ministry of Education. That's what real school bus look like. He would have got back Only to us. The, the, the no, we were supposed to stop already. Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but your best bet is to take a taxi around the island to get to see more than that. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. the, the buses mm -hmm. don't So we have to go stop. Brimstone Hill today then? Mm -hmm. the, the buses they don't stop. Don't stop. They don't have the designated area. Right. Yeah, I understand. So you're yeah. on the train and mm -hmm. you're just seeing what's from what's the every, train view. Yeah, you can't and do nothing different yeah, than the city. So to get to Brimstone Hill, we have to now go this way. back down the road and just head straight back down to the treasury that you're seeing in front of you mm -hmm. and take a right and there's a bus terminal across the road okay. so you'll pass kfc and so forth and oh, yes. you're going to like the ferry buses, right the bus is going to put us down that yeah, they're going to put you at the end they're not going to put you at the top at the top to i can't walk oh, okay but okay okay you can take a taxi then just do a half island tour i'm not certain what it is right now maybe An between uh, maybe 60 us but it depends okay just to do a brimstone hill tour. A brimstone. The taxi yes, would take us up to the hill, right? Yeah, and wait. Oh, yeah, and wait. Yeah, it's a yeah. four person. I, I, I could, I'm just giving yeah. you a yeah. yeah. welcome. Okay. Okay. All right, Thank let's so go down here and make some more inquiry. Right. Thank you. All right, have a nice day. Love the I, don't, I don't know if oh. any of the bus, local buses would if you ask them to take you up and leave you, but then you still have to find your way back. back. Okay, back. Anyway, so All the right. tour will be the best, and you will probably do Carabelle Batik and bring some young for the tour. Oh, great. So you can ask them. So just down here is the circus, where the clock is in the center. Yeah, yeah so okay. Get taxi oh, down, yes, okay. You can yeah, ask okay. them what it costs to right. a half-island tour, mm. or just to take you to Carabelle Batik and bring some yeah, usually okay. see, see some guys sitting down yeah. there, so... Thank you, right. darling. Okay. <laughs> yes, it looks as if, well, we have a lot of visitors in St. Christopher today. Oh, yeah. Right here in Bastia. A little bit noisy there, so you got to get out of that. Let's go over to Digicel there. The train is out. Oh, no. Quick get over. The train is out on tour. That's fine, I went to the train and subways. 
Um, but this here is the best now. The only one we have. Mm -hmm. And before we scrunching around the place, might as well we just take a tour. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, let's go make some further inquiry. Because you can't just say brimstone if we can go to more places. Yes, yes, like yes. I got you. I got you. No, no, I don't doubt anyone. Oh yeah. We're gonna try and sort out some kind of a, a taxi service here to see if we can get to Brimstone Hill and maybe a tour around the island. I guess I can see that um, the train ride is all booked out and. Um, doesn't look possible that we can get to it until the fourth of this month, which will be out of here already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a sidewalk, really. And look where the yellow line is. That's old-fashioned buildings of sidewalk. We used to have, we have that in Antigua yeah, too. Yeah, but it's part of the yellow line. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's the amazing part of the world. Mm -hmm. Paint right up to the side, or in other words, you can. Are we coming back? In other words, you can ramp your car up on the sidewalk to park. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. You'll get a female to do it. She can't run away with the camera. <laughs> Is these guys all taxi stand right here? Yeah, yeah. So we can just bum around here, question around here. Although nobody, oh, nobody here yet. So we could we could stick around here. Mm -hmm. Look like they one guy. Yeah. Look like one guy there. Yeah. Yeah, too much for us. Yeah, you are you driving this? I hope so. Oh, you hope so? Good morning, folks. Because you're not driving it, I can drive it. Brimstone Hill. Not only Brimstone Hill. How much is the house? Well, the island tour? Yeah. yeah. Well, if you want to do a, like, a private tour, that it's will be... What, what do you mean private tour? Private tour, I mean nobody else but your family. Well, yeah, no, family. Okay, family. yeah, okay, got you. Else, yes, you yes. Have capacity, and once you alone go, then you'll be a private tour. Yeah, yeah okay. Nobody else could join you. Uh -huh. That's what the system is. Right. But if anybody else joins us, it's only one. Because we were told it's off to four Well, yeah, one to four, but the regulations stipulate once you have, okay, let's say somebody else come and join now, uh -huh. that will make a difference. No? Oh, because I understand. somebody else outside of your family. Mm. But it was designed for one to four of a family. That's huh? not going to happen until tomorrow then. What gonna happen till tomorrow? When they come? No, we, we can go, we can go. Okay, fair we enough. We can go, but if he wants to take a second, a third, a fourth person, you all object to that? No, no. No, you tell them I don't want to. No, yeah, yeah but the other, the other person may yeah. not want to go where we're going. No. Right? That's well, what happened. Well, so anyway, how much it is it going to cost? If you want to do a complete tour, that'll be 120. 120 US? Yeah. And, and how much do they have to? And, and, and that take us to Brimstone Hill? 
120 should take you up to Grimsley. And how long you give us to wait? You should be able to about 20, 20 minutes. Sorry. 20 minutes? I think we need at least a half hour there. And then um, Carbell, but you can, so all that included. So why the girl says 60 US? 60 US for everybody? She says most 60 US for one to four. With others. No, she says 60 US for like one to four person. That's a good person to find, for you know. She sounds like a driver, not a tour guide. Okay, all right, all right, okay. Um, mind made up? Who, me? It's up to you. Who, me? Yeah, I don't have a problem. You want to go? One second. All right. No, you're, you're talking to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, you're going to somebody else. I'm going to, you're going to give us an island tour, mm -hmm. but um, I want the, the camera to be placed in front so we can capture what is Place going the camera on. Any way you want. All right, okay, good. You sure you do? Yes, yes, okay. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to cut it with the deal. Yeah. 120 US, right? Yeah. All right. And we're going Brimstone Hill. That's not we, we, going Brimstone, that's uh, included. And How long is that going to take anyway? Because when, when you're on a tour, you could stipulate exactly something. Yeah. Well, that's you want to stipulate. Okay, okay, all right, okay. What, what about the um? What about the the the, the, the rum taste? The, 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 the rum tasting. That's going to that's gonna happen. And um, um, and bloody point is going to happen too. That's going to happen. Too. Um. Uh, yes, no, Gingerland is navy. Yes, and I have to have fish also, yeah, yeah. like huh? big fish, like um. Some aquarium or something like that. We have a hotel with fishes also around the place. Fishes around it. Yeah. Uh, the dolphin stuff you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. That's for another stuff. So we how, how long is how long is this gonna take us now? That will be about um you two, you're looking about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours? Fine, that that yeah. sounds yeah, that, that sounds good. that sounds too good to be yeah. true. Okay. And and um we might be doing this again, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's another five, five party coming, coming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. so I don't know if they will be willing tomorrow, mm -hmm. or but uh, you have a card, your business. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna. You know what I suggest? Yeah. When they come tomorrow, how much you can hold? Seven. Seven. Oh, my is eight. Yeah. Eight of them. Uh -huh. yeah. Eight of us in all. Eight, eight, eight persons. In yeah. all. I carry seven. Gosh, yeah. just yeah. So, one more. No, I, I, you can't hide the one more. You can hide one more if you want, but to me, anything up there. Yeah. Because, it, because it's you, if like how we are, like if seven. You, we don't want to take you. For Who is the smallest? All right, Jarrell. you understand? Okay, Jarrell. right. If I don't do a good job, don't call me back. Okay, <laughs> so I better do a good job. Okay, so okay, all right. Okay. okay, yes, man, we got. Okay, so you're gonna go in front. Yeah, I'm gonna sit in front. Yeah, room, man. Yeah, room for. Yeah, I'm gonna sit in front. I'm gonna. Have to um, set up, yeah. set up my gears a bit. Yeah, go ahead ahead. So, so um, you're not coming front. You're not coming front. Huh? Not coming yeah, yeah, I'm going. Okay, to, oh, front, hold on. I'm going to have to set oh, up okay. my gear a little bit. Yeah. You want to open the windows? Are you going air conditioner? Um, open the windows so I I can get the so I can get the um. Just pull the door. Pull the pull the handle. Breeze and everything. Like Okay, we're going to use some air conditioning in the city for a while because okay. um, I want you to hear me so, and I want yeah, so, to hear me. So let me set up there with some mic and so on and whatnot. I'm glad you would. Wait, let me um, set up first. Yeah. Then, we're not in any hurry really, right? But... Yeah, we're not in any hurry at all. Thank you. What? What is cheap? How much one those here? One those? Yeah. I'm not sure, but to me, I Is it Wrangler? Man, if you give me one of those three, I would yeah. wait. Okay. <laughs> That's for me, eh? Cause you, you start, before you get it, you start to spend money. Yeah. If you start to burn gas, the tires and everything, mm -hmm. the maintenance and that just doesn't cap, just doesn't cop. Huh? No, no, no. Sink it, sink it seat belt only at the front seat. Passenger and driver. And while we're driving, you will um, you will give us um, okay. I can't go above the um. I think you take it. You take it. You take it. But okay, I just have to stay right about right here. Suction. Oh. 
Das ist ein Okay. Ja, das ist schön. Das ist so. Was ist das? Ach ja, gut. Ich denke, ich bin hier. Du kannst mehr in der Mitte, wenn du willst. Ich bin hier. 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 Sometimes what I do, I normally would um, get some water yeah. and kind of wet it. Yeah, you take it right there. So, let me um, just, just wipe the thing with some water. And some I see you have a crack so over here. Crack. And let me see if it will, if it will go right through. No, no, so I have, to, um, I have to go right here to escape the crack, right? Oh, you mean the line in your camera? In the lens? In, the, in, the, in here. Oh, okay, I understand what you're saying. I think I have to go right there to escape. You're good there? Wait, let me... Um... Then I might have to um, tilt it up a bit. And then um, I will have to... to... Let that disappear here. Yeah? Take us out in the car for it, reverse the camera so we can get us okay. and then we set off. And then I have to, don't see the crack? Do I see the crack here? Yeah, okay. Like... Oh, that's it right there, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I zoom in, come on, number two, you're gonna, I still see it there. You're good? Not yet. You can put it up a little bit more. Unless you drop it inside here. That will go below, that will drop you okay. below the crack. Alright, let's check that one and see. Let's check that one. You gotta one. go down lower. Yeah, okay. close to the dash, yeah. Close to the dash. Too close enough. Up, up, yeah, up. You need to lift a little. Yeah. No, I think it's okay, dear. Let me... So the crack will be totally out. Is it out? Can you see it? I can't see it. I can't see it. No, I can't see it. No, it's out. Okay, right here. Right there? Yeah, no. It's out, it's out. And, um, uh, I gotta make sure this is level. Okay, when you get on the road a bit. Isaac, I was saying reverse again. Yes. Reverse. Okay, the question is how many people know sink it? How many of you, you know that this is sink it? And how St. Many, Christopher, I know. How much time you been here before? This is my maybe um, fourth touchdown. Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to St. Kitts. My name is the Ranger, and we're about to do what you call a comprehensive island tour. You will ask the question and I will give the appropriate answer if I know the answer. If I don't know the answer to your question, I will tell you that I don't know. And um, I can't while I'm that. giving the commentary, you can interrupt me and I will be able to get right back on track. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to St. Kitts. Huh? Oh, you, 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 no, we have the other one. We have the other one. Come give me that one, Jess. Yeah. The size of the island is 68 square miles and we have a population of over 50,000 people and growing. Based on the last census, our main language in St. Kitts is English. Mm -hmm. But in school, in our classroom, our curriculum holds three different languages. Mm -hmm. The languages are Spanish, French and English. But in every aspect of life, languages, if you don't use them, you could practically lose them. Yeah. We understand the languages more than we speak them because we practice more of the English language. We are now located downtown Bastia. The name Bastia, it's a French word and it means lowland. And mm. that is why Bastia is in a valley. Okay. Bastia is, have been known to be one of the most beautiful towns in the Eastern Caribbean. And it has been said that you received the name Bastia because of the fact it's a French word, and France once did occupy St. Kitts. Yes. St. Kitts actually became a colony in 1783, and it became independent in 1983, 200 years after it became a full-fledged colony of Britain. It's one of the most unique islands in the Eastern Caribbean. The most um, agriculture produced have been produced in this hemisphere in St. Kitts because of the fertility of the soil. It can grow sugarcane, to tobacco, and cotton. The last crop that we grow on a commercial basics was sugarcane. And having grown sugarcane on a commercial level, when the price of sugar went down, the government of the day had to diversify and move into the service industry, which is tourism that is. 
We are location. We are located in the central part of Bastia, which is called the Circus. It's called the Circus because when the British laid out the town, they meant it to be a replica of the Piccadilly Circus that's located in London. The centerpiece in the Circus is called the Berkeley Memorial. It was placed here in honor of a gentleman by the name of Berkeley. He was a planter and he was the chief legislator of the Eastern Caribbean. How it become Eastern Caribbean is because Sinkets have been known to be the mother colony of the West Indies. That's the Berkeley Memorial. It's right a four there. face clock, and the clock is only right twice per day. The reason why it's right twice per day is because it's not working. There's no Big Ben in the circus because we all know that Big Ben is a bell. And all ben, all bells are bends. And so therefore, there's no Ben attached to the clock. There's a Big Ben in London. Whenever the clock chime and an hour, it will chime. The bell will chime. But the bell and the clock that's work together. So the clock is not the name of the clock is not Big Ben. Big Ben is actually incorporated in the clock. So that's what it really is. It is the commercial center of the, the country, which is downtown of the, you have the stores and the lower floor and the owner of the store once reside at the top. Today, most of the owners are not living in town. They have the top to be um, storerooms and downstairs is where they sell the produce. And we have the banking system. We have government chain reaction system and so on and the administration of government is on 4th Street. But we all know that no one can run a proper system And this is 4th Street, right? The desk. This is 4th Street, okay. but the government headquarters is on Church Street. Uh -huh. Which, where is Church Street? That Church way? Street is on your left. On your left. We're now going on to okay. Central Street, and we're going to take a right and to Central Street, and we're going to make a connection and to West Square Street. Okay. As we reach to the, arrive to the end of um, Central Street, we'll be having the bank of St. Christopher Nevis and Anguilla. We know that Anguilla broke away from St. Kitts in 1967, and actually it's only St. Kitts and Nevis went into independent. The name St. Kitts is a short name for St. Christopher. Christopher, and so the short name for Christopher normally be Kit, mm -hmm. and we adopt the name St. Kitts officially okay. But you can use either one of them and you will be right. Straight ahead is the square which is called Palmal Square. And um, having called Palmal Square, the name was changed in 1983 to Independent Square. Okay. And so that is what is called right today, here. Independent Square. Yes, right here. It has been told by based on the history that the square was once used as a slave market where they were taking the the um, those who were brought from Africa to be sold into slavery and they will put them on the action block and sell them to the plantation owners around the island and so they will all gather here to buy whatever slaves they so desire. Today the square is used where friends meet friends and the enemy meet enemy for reconciliation and you can even have a picnic in the square if you like but leave it the way you meet it clean. Yeah. There are numerous amount of plants in the square. You have the African tulip, you have the Indian rubber, yeah, bamboo. you have the bamboo cane, just to name a few mm -hmm. that are in the square. Slavery have been very terrible. It was a very terrible thing. But there is always a bright light at the end of every tunnel. Today we look at slavery at the, rear view, at the rear view mirror. And we look at the future as looking towards the windscreen, the future ahead of him. Tell we, us about the church. We use education to chart our way forward. And we cannot get ourselves stuck into slavery. Even mm -hmm. though we know that it did exist, we have to move forward. Yeah. Because if we fail to do so, it would have been better that we never had education in the first place. Coming up on your immediate right hand side is Immaculate Conception, which is a Roman Catholic church and it is controlled by the Pope of Rome. Okay. They also have a school that they operate, but they use the curriculum of the government of the day, which have been legislated for everyone to get a proper education. Every child have to go to school 
from the moment he reaches the age of five years old until he reaches the age of 16. When you reach 16, you can determine to yourself that you don't want to go to school anymore, you want to work. But a good recommendation is always there to say his best thing to do is to have a trade. Because he who is without a trade and no proper education, no proper skill, he's not a doctor, he's not a lawyer. Sometimes you can make more money than the doctor and the lawyer if you use your skills properly. And your immediate right hand side is the police headquarters and further down where the red gate is, is his majesty's hotel, the prison, <laughs> the prison that is. I got you. And you might have right hand side over behind to the prison and the, his majesty's hotel is the playground, which is cricket. Our main sport is cricket and football. Some people call it soccer. I'm not sure where they get the name soccer in, mm -hmm. but I know that it had to be football because that's the only game that you can play with football. And if you touch the ball with your hand, it's called a foul. And so that's the way it is. We are now traveling in a westerly direction. We're changing points as we go along and we're mm -hmm. still downtown Bastia. We have just recently received, about two to three years ago, traffic light downtown Bastia. And it helps traffickers to be more courteous to each other. But when they see the stoplight, they mean that you should stop and they mean that you should go. And sometimes some people are in a more hurry than some. So naturally, some people will look to break the rules and suffer the consequence of their action. No, while I'm giving the commentary, I'm not going to talk all the way. Talk to me. Yeah. Well, Ask how me how questions. How do I number plate in them? Like, how you, you choose what, what for you from what, for taxi, what for private use and them kind Good of question. The, the red plate that you see in front of us and those motorbikes, uh -huh. they are for rental. Uh -huh. And the black plate with a P, uh -huh. uh, PA, when you see PA, it means that the number is double up. P, P, that P21. Uh -huh. You could have PA21. That means okay, okay, you have yes. 21 being used two times in a vehicle. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's just differences PA and PP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your immediate right hand side is the Anglican Church, controlled by the Church of England. Mm -hmm. And it's controlled by the Archbishop of Canterbury, as well as the top of the head of the church is the King of England. Her Majesty, when she was alive, she was the head of the church. But um, now the King of England have taken over. We are now driving down to one of the political known arm um, of the country, which is the um, Church Street. And on Church Street, on your immediate right hand side, you have the Labour Party, which is called the Masses House. And that's where they had the, 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 the Labour spokesman, the mouthpiece of the Labour Party. And that's where they have their headquarters. Okay, you can break down the. Um the incentive that the, the government gave you guys the other day, where everyone got some sort of uh, remuneration, so to speak. Straight ahead on your right hand side is the government headquarters, the remuneration. What are you talking about? When um, when, when, when went, the government um, was given five hundred dollars and all that? Yeah. That, what, what was that about? What's the background to that? That was because we had a pandemic and um, is to help people up a little bit, those who uh, less fortunate mm -hmm. and give them something extra, more okay. money to spend. That was something like to... to stimulus. To sti not so much the people. It stimulates the people, yes, but at the same time, you have what you call a win-win situation mm -hmm. because the people are going to spend it back into the economy and once you keep the economy moving, yeah. it's okay. a good thing to do. Okay, hear me out again. So it was not a continuous thing, it's just a one-off. Well, yeah. well, it was supposed to be continuous, mm -hmm. and so like maybe every other two months, I have some whichever mm -hmm. they choose or whichever they desire, oh. and that was their plan. Okay. If you notice, people are here trying to buy salt fish mm -hmm. because tomorrow is Good Friday, and mm -hmm. everybody gonna cook salt fish and dumpling mm -hmm. and all kind of different thing, bread, fruit, and so on. Okay. So you gotta so, watch out if you have coconut so what, and you so drink. Now you bring up that food business. So. What is your main um, dish here? You know. Our main dish happens to be, it's supposed to be saltfish, dumpling, and you could have corn and saltfish. It depends on how you feel and what you want to eat. Mm -hmm. 
But our main dish is really those that are the main dish. It's so, a very so simple dish. How you do your corn here? You don't do fungi and so on like what we do in MT. You You call it fungi, but we say corn. Oh, corn turn meal. corn, turn, turn corn. corn yes. Okay, yes. Okay. What we do, we, we put in water, we throw in water mm. in the pot, ah, we throw ah, in the ah, cornmeal, and when it starts boiling, we start right. pulling yeah, same the thing, stick man. to the thing, and we throw some butter in it and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. A little bit of butter in it, and right. uh, actually, when we throw butter in it, then we, we, we put some butter around in the bowl and we take the spoon and slash it in the bowl and we take the right. flip, 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 and roll it in it. <laughs> right. Make it into a ball and throw it out. Same thing, man. And then we will put a we will put a fish beside it. Fish and, water and stuff and like that. And subside it. And mm -hmm. we will normally say, if you want to see me smile, put a ball of corn in the middle and a fish swimming around it. Uh, and maybe how it eating. Yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> so um, what about your dumpling now? Is it sugar dumpling? No, we don't put sugar in dumpling. You, you, uh, you coconut, coconut. Like we do ducan and stuff like you that. You ducan and salfish, you do, yes. Yeah, right, okay, yes. all right. Okay. And your left hand side is the bus terminal and mm. who want to take a bus to go someplace in the in the um, country, around the country, yes. you come here to take a bus, but they are called omnibuses. And if you notice, they have green plates, yeah. oh, okay. And those are public transportation, like this mm. is a public transportation, but this is a taxi. And when I'm traveling with you, I am not allowed to pick up anyone else yes. because until I finish dealing with you, and so that's the bus terminal, but they don't move until they're full. Mm. And your left hand side also is the ferry terminal that takes you. This is not good. I don't like to see people paint with natural rocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you paint it once, you have to continue painting all the time. Yeah. You lose the effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what yeah. happened is that... Um, Two, three. Yeah. Now we're going to pick up the tempo a little bit. We, we, mm -hmm. we have some delay. But yes, if you notice, yeah. we have black sand beaches. Mm -hmm. And we have black sand beach based on the fact that we are... Um, Volcanic. We are volcanic island, mm -hmm. and so that's why. But at the same time, even though we have black sand beaches, if you stand in the water and look down, you should be able to see your toes mm -hmm. yes, at yes, the, in yeah, the water yeah, because right. the water is not cloudy. Right. Okay. And so some other islands you go to, or some countries you go to, you cannot even see the bottom of the ocean for mud and and um, what you call pollution. Um, no, well, it's pollution, but so silt, know? silt. Yeah. yeah. There are lots of silt at the bottom of the ocean yeah. that give um, take away the beauty and the true effect of um, thing. Now, when I finish this, I'm going to have a small quiz. So I want to know how much you've been listening up. So prepare mm -hmm. yourself. I'm going to ask the questions and I, then you're going to see if you could give me the answers. So what year did they change the name from Mount Misery to... Um, Mount Laimiga. Laimiga. Mount Laimiga. I have a hard time um, stamping that word, Laimiga. Mount Beautiful. Mount Laimiga. Mount Laimiga means beautiful. That's the highest point in St. Kitts. That's the volcano. Yeah. Oh. No, we are, we are driving down towards the cenotaph. The cenotaph is the mm. memorial for War those Mo who have lost their life in World, World War, War I II. and, and World War II. Mm -hmm. And who fought alongside the British. So every memorial day... They come the, here and pay respect, yeah? The, um, the governor will come and lay a wreath. Now yes. somebody make a mistake again by pointing, by painting the gun. a shiny color <laughs> on the gun stand. Uh, yes, yes. You yeah, don't yeah, paint yeah, shiny yeah, color. Yeah, it's yeah, supposed yeah. to be flat black. Yeah, yeah. All military is supposed to be flat black. black. Non glass. Non glass. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead is the, is, the, is the magistrate court. Okay. And if you have an issue, they'll take you before the magistrate court. Oh, yeah. And they will actually um, tell you what you're charged with, and if they're found guilty... Yeah, throw you in the prison. Well, not necessary, but you might have to pay a fine or can yeah. fine, which yeah. Fine and can fine. Now, remember what I told you about Bastia. What's the name of Bastia? Anybody remember? Why, but why, why does the town name Bastia? Because it's low-lying. It's low-lying and low it's in, in a valley. The valley yeah. Now, if you notice that we're looking on our right-hand side, and the valley depict the word Bastia, the low, low like valley. Like a basket Just then, yeah. Bastia. Just a, just a few yards away, and you could see the it's a valley. valley yes, yes, yes. So the, the wording and the, the, okay. the evidence is true. Right. And here comes one of the road buses. Okay, so Take in 1970, you had a disaster here from St. Kitts to Nevis. Disaster. Well, you're talking about the Christina disaster. Yes, yes we had a Christina um, disaster. Give us a little synopsis of exactly what they say happened and board that, you. that disaster 1970 i was a, i was a small boy then and mm. i'll get back to that and you yes. mean it right hand side is the t 
Technical Vocational <laughs> Educational Center, which is the College of Further Education, mm -hmm. which if you want to learn a trade, yeah. simple that's all I mean. Yes. They'll teach you to be a mechanic, a carpenter, a electrician, whichever so desire, so that you can own a decent living by having a trade. Or you can look after your family, whichever that is. Now, um, the issue and the Christina, the Christina disaster, those are the days when they still do, when people come down from Nevis to apply um, to sell their produce mm -hmm. based on the agricultural trade that they have been done, whether it's yeah. by animal, uh, by food. And so on its return, people were getting ready to go back to Nevis and so on. And people from St. Kitts were going over, so the vessels were crowded and all of that. So the Christina sank. On the immediate left hand side, though, is um, apartments that were built by government. Okay. And those were built to enhance the living condition of those who just so desire to move into them. Mm -hmm. Now, those apartments were built with one intention in mind renting to ownership. Okay, you rent renting to own. to own, yes. So don't think that you're going to mess it up and walk away from it. Okay. So when you rent it, it's going to be yours. You're going to yeah. have a mortgage based Ooh. on your income and you're going to pay it. And when you own it, it's yours. Mm -hmm. And so that is the own, that is the the idea to advance um, and in, enhance living condition. And your right hand side is the school curriculum center where the mm -hmm. teachers get together and bring their class and do their curriculum. Mm -hmm. And your left hand side is the daycare center. And um, those children are under five years old. The parents drop them off and they go to work. And your immediate right hand side is the College of Further Education and the Clarence Fish were in college mm -hmm. and you cannot go to college until you reach the age of 16. When you're 16, that's when you go to college. But you have to have two entrance subjects and those subjects are maths mm -hmm. and English. And if you have those, then you are free to go in. Coming up on your immediate right hand side is the permanent hotel. Mm -hmm. Everyone is dying to get in. The this, cemetery that is. This put us to shame. I have a question for you though. The question is, how many people inside here you think are dead? More than what's in St. Kitts. No, another one. Next. <laughs> Next. Oh, yeah. How, that, how many people in there we think are dead? About how many people inside here are dead? Um, how many dead bodies are in there? How many people inside here are, are dead? dead? No, you have to clean the place. Good answer, lady. You go to the head of the class. Okay. The whole idea is that everyone inside here is dead. You can only get in there if you're dead. Mm -hmm. But somebody put them in. It's a permanent hotel. Yes. Somebody yeah. put them in. Somebody put talking, them in. But we, he's not talking about who going to take, who's staying there permanently. Oh, who, who resides? And okay. everyone it's is dying. Hotel. Everyone is dying to get in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she, the lady got to the head of the class. Yeah, go, go, go to the back. Yeah. You go to the back. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on your left hand side is the Coca Cola bottling company, and your immediate right hand side is the. Josephine France General Hospital. And further down is the beer factory. I normally say to my friends who have a tour with me, I say, when you come to St. Kitts, you go to the daycare center, and after you leave that, you will go and have a Coke. Yep. Then you could have a beer. Yep. After that, you go to the hospital. Yeah, and and back and, and back to the cemetery. To the hotel. <laughs> back to the permanent hotel. The lady again. The lady again. Yep. So you would have complete your trip in St. Kitts. Yes, you know. And a happy moment. Beer yeah. hospital, permanent hotel, game over. Caribbean. Caribbean, yes. Okay, now we are leaving Basti and we are heading out in the countryside. And, and your immediate right hand side is the Caribbean cinema, the movie that is. Oh. And as we get down to the to the further down, and here you have Best Buy supermarket and utilities on your right hand side as we head out of Bastia. Now we are coming up towards the first, the last roundabout that we're going to have that take you into Bastia up to the F.T. William Highway uh, towards the airport. Coming up on your immediate right hand side is the place which is called Matilde Heights and Beacon Heights, those two uh, um, gated community and very beautiful laid out area in St. Kitts. And also you have Ram Supermarket on your immediate right hand side. St. Kitts is a very nice island and your left hand side you have the egrets and the egrets mm -hmm. um wow. the, the word egrets mean the word egret mean long neck mm -hmm. and those birds 
take yeah. the ticks from the cattle yes. and keep them clean. Yeah, well, in Antigua the now they're eating frogs. Yeah. Well, at least. Because we don't have no cattle around anymore. No, yeah. so they're eating the frogs. Yeah. yeah. But they have to eat, they have to survive. You, you have that frog down here? What those kind of frogs? Tree yeah. frogs, uh, some little yeah. one, that uh, Cuban frogs. What oh, you mean those? Uh, make yeah. a lot of yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. garling sort them out, man. Yeah. Do you have you the call that garling too, right? Yeah, we call them garling too. Okay, yes, good. Yes, yes. Huh? Have the African snails down here? African slaves. I can't. Snails. Snails. Slaves. Snails. 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 Only snail. snails. No, no, no. I can't. Yeah, see. No. Yeah. I'm going to take a quick dive vote and I'm going to go down here at Ocean Edge. See, something that I want to show you. Though. Okay, good. The reason man. why I come down here. If you notice, all of our houses are built from concrete. Yeah, solid. Mm -hmm. Solid, and they are what you call cinder blocks. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, yes. Um, we do that because we build the house in preparation for hurricane mm -hmm. and so therefore when we get stormed there is no drywall in the partition mm -hmm. you sweep out the water and, gonna get and you're gonna get yeah, good yes okay the other thing is that you notice that we have built like this upstairs and downstairs the reason for that when you are strong you can live upstairs and rent downstairs mm -hmm. when you get old and you're not able to climb the stairs rent you rent upstairs and move downstairs the lady again yeah. okay you're on the ball mm -hmm. yeah. all right so that is the reason why these houses are built the way they are mm -hmm. to accommodate you and you can have an income not only that you could make them a rental apartment because we have university schools here mm -hmm. and so on so in old age when you don't have a job or should anything happen to you you have an income you have a generating income yes yes mm -hmm. correct you don't have to be greedy but you have a little something well greed always destroy people in the, in the process know, so in life this in is life, all yeah. around the world you always damage everyone no matter who you are you it's gonna come back and bite you yeah. donald trump could tell you so that. what this area is called this this area is called um i think it's View, what do you call it? Sea view? Sea view, sea view, yes, correct. Sea view. Good. I just bring it down here to give you an yeah, idea what yes, it looks like. This is, this is good, this is good. And um, one thing with um, St. Kitts, it, um, the roads are really clean, it's beautiful. In the town there, you don't have people coming out from the store selling on the pavement or anything. The place is it's really clean and you hardly see garbage bins out in the, in the Those are the garbage there. bins. Every household have one of those. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They give them free? Yep. Oh. Well, not only free, but anything that comes to you is not free. Cost the country. Yeah, Taxpayers. No, for you the might, homeowners. Yeah, yeah, for the homeowners. You pay not directly, but indirectly you have paid. Yeah. yeah. The ministers That's of good. government own nothing. They are what you call the trustee of the people. That's and so good. when they use the money, so every household have one of those. Around mm. this area, on the island. All oh, around the whole island. Mm. So we have blue jumps for our guys. Yeah, everywhere yeah. you go around the island, you're going to see those yellow tap. But we don't see them in the town. You're not going to see them because people, they only out when they the expect the garbage truck coming. Okay. okay. So after that, they pull them back in and then they dump the garbage truck. Oh, okay. So every really business nice. place will have Every one. business places would have The business one. place don't have only residents. The business place will oh. have to do it. Okay. Yeah. Nice that the people just maintain the cleanliness of this island. Yeah. That comes from education because when it comes to healthcare, we think that healthcare is more of an education issue mm -hmm. rather than a fiscal issue, whereas the person wearing a white gown and all of that. You must prevent, mm -hmm. deter, prevent it from happening. Exactly. Prevent from avoid getting sick. Don't don't do things to get sick and then afterwards you go to the hospital mm -hmm. to look for a quick fix. And this year, this year, you know, this year, government. Follow the basic hygiene. Yeah. Do so what is necessary. Prevent it that trying to cure it. Correct. That is yes. the key. So One ounce of prevention mm -hmm. is better than a whole pound oh, of cure. Girl. So your hospitals don't really look at have... The, look at the houses. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're beautiful. Your hospitals don't really have much people stuck up there on a daily basis. You have people that normally go because they believe in medicine. Well, I for one, I don't believe so much in medicine. Because you could take medicine to fix one thing and it damage the other thing. I believe in nutrition yep. and nut medicine is only a band-aid mm -hmm. that will set for a certain period of time and eventually you will have to get off the medicine because the body was not designed to function with medicine. Medicine is something that you use as a band-aid, you put it on, you use it for a certain time and you're done. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes they might give you antibiotic which kill all the biotic kill in your body. Everything. You don't know the difference between good biotic and bad biotic. So you kill everything, and then at the end of the day, you live back with nothing. And sometimes with medicine, 
you try to fix something else, something, and it damaged something else. So, you better, there's a monkey climbing the wall. Yeah. Saying hello to you. Look like he's happy to see you. That's why you call the green back well no. with monkey. Mm -hmm. no. So there are loose around here? There's mm -hmm. more monkey on the island that, than what people that's what have been said. And you know why I believe that? Because monkeys don't have family planning. <laughs> but we do. And then I don't eat them like that. I, th I think it's a, some form of trickery that they bring family planning to slow down the, the population and keep us, I know, to the amount that they want us. They don't want us to get too populated. Do we go be seeing monkeys? Well, we just we saw, saw one, one a while ago. I didn't really, I saw the tail. You didn't see the monkey? I don't want to go anywhere okay. that we can actually see them. Like, yeah, well, you had one um, yeah. when we come in there on your shoulder the other day. I'm about Coming up on your left hand side is the University of Medicine. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You have Ross University here too, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, this, was, this was started by Ross too. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Ross. This one is. Yeah, and coming up on your left hand side is a hotel oh, that yeah. was under construction and that's oh, shut down uh, during COVID. Okay. And um, it never reopened to restart, so the construction needs to be complete in that. Oh, Hopefully, it will be done one of these days. There's no name that is being given as yet, yeah. but so it's a dorm. It's not no hotel. No, hotel. 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 Okay. It's a hotel. It was for the dorm there. Okay. Coming up on your immediate left hand side is Ross University School mm. of Veterinary Medicine. Okay, right over here. Donkey Sanctuary. No, 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 no. Because each student could have a donkey. Mm, okay, okay. Because uh, this is a veterinary school uh, of medicine. Okay, all right. So when these people leave here, they would have had the experience of going to school and have a an hands-on, hands-on opportunity to apply medical trade. Yes. Mm -hmm. That means they do a lot of experiments and, and stuff on donkeys. Well, not experiment. I would you say have a lot of donkeys. if you check, if, like for instance, if you go to the doctor for a checkout, that's not experiment on you. That's checking you out. So you'll be checking out the health of the animal to make sure that the animal maintains the health. Donkeys. Why? Why I say that? Because you know, for veterinary school, it's only donkeys there. No, no, no. You have horses too. There's some. Everything you know, there. You have cattle, horses, goat, Cats. and sheep. Everything, cat, everything Dogs, there. Everything. Mule. everything there. Every single thing, animal you could think about. No elephant, no mm -hmm. giraffe. Okay. People eat donkeys here? Not to my knowledge. Chinese might kill them in the night or something and no, sell no, no, you, no, and no, you no, don't no. know. Yeah, no, 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 no. Mm. And you wait and say that the parking lot for the students, mm -hmm. and you have students from all walks of life in mm -hmm. St. Kitts. Now we are still continuing heading down a westerly direction, and. Um, and your immediate right hand side is a volcano. And the volcano is 3,700 and I think it's 42 feet from sea wow. level. 3,742. Uh -huh. Is it, is it, this is Mount Misery or uh, Mount Lake? Mount Laimiga. Laimiga. Mount Laimiga run right in the middle of the island. Is Nevis Peak higher than it? Mm, I'm not sure. I gotta back check that. I, I don't think so. I have to back check so. Uh, it, it, One of the things I must remind you also is that I know enough to know that I don't know enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Coming up on your immediate left hand side are the houses that are called low income mm -hmm. and those houses were built by the government mm -hmm. and they also went to own. You have enough space where you can make it bigger mm -hmm. when you pay off mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there are two bedrooms, bathroom and toilet and it's just to upgrade the standard of living mm -hmm. for those who are in a lower bracket. It does not make sense that everybody go flying high and leave all those people behind. And now get up there. You must <laughs> carry them together because if not, you are looking for crime and problems. But when you say low income in St. Kitts, is it really low income? Is it affordable to do low income? Well, it is affordable to low income because they're controlled by government and mm -hmm. government was designed to make sure not make sure that the poor people are able to pull themselves out of mm -hmm. poverty. Because that's the whole that's the whole reason of having government. Mm -hmm. And that's why government balance. control water and electricity so that the price will have what you call an equal balance. Mm -hmm. Because if not, you could have some. You could have people way down and people way up, mm -hmm. and if that space is so wide, 
at the Sorry, end of the day, you don't think that you're going to sleep good in your castle and somebody down there belly growling, mm -hmm. wondering about the food you they're have in your house. Please. They're going to look for you. Why? They're going to come look for you. Why I ask is because we got the name low income too back in Antigua. Uh -huh. But guys, is it really low income? Yeah. It is It is it's low income. Low income. It is low income. In but Antigua, it is. is compared. It, just give me a chance. No, we compared don't have to who you deal with. Give me a Com chance. Compared to who you deal with, you low income. Because for $10 and for $10, 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 house in Antigua. A minimum wage, I, oh no. sorry, sorry Antigua. But what happened is that everything that you get and everything that you do takes some sacrifice. Yep. And if you fail to sacrifice anything that you do, management. if you fail to, well yes, if you fail to sacrifice, but you will be surprised to know that those people who make low income at the end of the year, their achievement could be more than you who make high in the high category What's because that? they know that the income is small so they live within mm -hmm. the parameter yeah. of that generating income and you who up they think that your money is always coming yep. and you live what you call a virtuous life and you say yep. how in the world that this person can achieve more than me and I make more than them because the more they get the more they want and they want to spend more but a low income person Sacrifice, in case, yes. seem to be more disciplined and more manageable of their finances, more responsible. Well, you have to be more, you have to be responsible because what determines the lifestyle you live is not so much how much you make, but it's how you spend oh, what you make. That is what I'm saying. Yes. I like the way I just put a cap on what you're saying. Just what I'm saying? $10, but how you spend it? Yes. And you don't know when you pay $10 for my say you cut down to work. Correct. You're correct. That you just live all one time. If we make plenty of money, we can spend ten dollars every day. Me no. But because me no, me not make no money. You have to watch your ten dollars. That is why, and you straight ahead, if you're going up to the village, which is called Challengers, mm -hmm. if you realize how the roads are winding, mm -hmm. the roads are winding because these are the original roads that connected the plantations together around the island. And when slavery was abolished, all of the slaves had to be removed from the plantations and they could not have lived in where you have arable land. Mm -hmm. So they had to go to the gut side and so on mm -hmm. to set up the little shack. Outside now, from here. one generation to another, these people build a house where they born with their mama live, mm -hmm. and their grandpapa live. So what village and is so this they now? Go, this is Challengers Village. Challengers. And so they move from one, Challengers. Challengers Village. And so they move from one generation to another, and the road maintained the same location that it had been. And which parish is this also? This parish is Trinity. Trinity. Saint Trinity. Yes. Saint Trinity. Yes. Every parish is saints all over. Every parish is parish because the Anglican Church set up themselves yeah, yeah, yeah. and they determine how far the parish begins and where does it end. So that, that parish system came from the Anglican system, the Catholic. Not the woman, the Ca Anglican. 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 Coming down in this area, we're going down into a place which is called Bloody Point. A bloody Point. Bloody Point, it's called Bloody Point because it has been said during, during the days they was having a festivity in St. Kitts and the Caribbean Arawaks Indian were having a festivity and they decided to have it in the river. And oh. there was a plan to dispose of them and actually... Planned by who? Planned between the British and the French. And the British was on one side and the French was on the other side and they used the musket and massacred them in the river. The signboard is saying up here is saying bloody point and it says it says that for several days this river flowed red with blood after the English and French settlers massacred thousands of Colongo Carib in 1626. This marked the end of Colongo occupation in St. Kitts. Yes, and it's written in Spanish, French, and German. Yeah. Correct. Why do you have that little boy's book? Well, because you just put somebody there a picture of my yeah. local, local student. Right? You should have put a picture of that. Should have been a group of people. Well, well, because you don't have. One, our, one, our Caribbean, something like that. One, one could represent 
So this river run um, blood for days then? That's what I was told, based right. on the history. Okay. Because right. you're aware that history is his story and yeah, he's yeah. telling it as yeah, he know it. Yeah, yeah. But lots of things that when you hear, you read, you, know, you based on your ability to comprehend, you can dictate, uh, determine whether mm. it's true or it's not true. But it's amazing, eh? We just left Challengers. Now uh, to Bloody Point. Blo Challengers area, right? Uh huh. And from the Challengers there, and then you come straight on into the bloodiness. <laughs> yes. You know? So yeah. it's like a linkage right Straight here. ahead is Brimstone Hill, the Gibraltar of the, the, Gibraltar of the West Indies. Yes. And Brimstone Hill, we're going to have more on that when we continue to go down further into our tour. Yes. Hey, we're almost an hour into our tour, and guess what? I haven't bumped into any pothole yet. This road, <laughs> this road is smooth like velvet. Where's where sleeping bunnies, man? And look how, look how clean they are at the side. And we're way out in the countryside. Look how clean the roads are. Anyway. Some people drop some days. You know? I'm not, well, I'm I, I, was, I was told that sometimes some trucks pass with some garbage and some blood. Yeah, they're not going to drop that but you know, but there are some people who that. still, there are some people who still will want to throw some things outside the media. Most yes. people come out here from time to time and just pick up those. You'll have that every now and again, yes. Every now and again, you'll have that. And you say your name is again? My name is the Ranger. They call the me Ranger. Ranger yes. The Ranger. The, yeah, the Kittishan Ranger. Yeah. Oh, you have your cowboy hat yeah, on. No, you're the cowboy hat. Like a, a star, hat. like star black. Yeah. Okay. No, it's a Ranger's hat. What, ha oh, yeah, what okay. happened is that I get the name Ranger mm -hmm. because most people who actually have had anything in management of sugarcane estate uh -huh. by virtue of the office, you are a uh -huh. Paris Ranger because uh -huh. your, your I got estate you. run from base down to the ocean straight up to the rainforest yes and so you're responsible for soil conservation management of that area. And management and so they will look at you they'll call you what you call a forest ranger okay. and you'll be able mm. to they'll give you you'll be able to have what you call a, a firearm mm -hmm. we will be able to shoot monkey goat and sheep and pig and so that will destroy the Except agricultural produce yeah. huh Except human. No, 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 no. You, you know, when you carry a firearm, it wasn't designed for you to shoot human. No, yeah. that wasn't the plan to shoot human. You all have snakes here? No, but we have lots of mangoes. Someone that's why you don't have any snakes. Someone has no. That's not true. Yeah, most of the time. Yeah. I, I debunk that one. I tell you why. I have gone to countries where I have seen lots of snakes and yeah, mangoes too. Yeah, yeah, that's but true. They but... know where the mangoes could eradicate the snakes. Now, if we had snakes here in the first place, we would have still have snake here. That's my belief. Okay. Because no any mangoes could have get rid of the snakes. Yeah, You'll be surprised to know where snakes can go and how the mangoes don't go. No, it's the egg that the snake would let the mangoes would eat them. If they so find it them. Will, so it will keep down the population. If they find them, but you'll yeah. still have snake. You would not yeah. be able to get yeah. rid of them. Yeah. Now we are going into old road. Old road, yeah. We have old road too. And. Well, it's more like a British. Mm -hmm. And this is Old Road. This was the first town of the British. The okay. town that we came from was the um, first town of the French. And so Sinkit was divided into two between the French and the British. So Sinkit was colonized by um, Thomas Warner. In, uh, Sir Thomas Warner, he was the first governor of the, he, of the Eastern uh, Caribbean. Uh, right. That's what he, they say. Not the Eastern Caribbean, uh, Leeward Le Islands. Yes, well, they say in this hemisphere. Okay. In this hemisphere. That's so, what they say. so he sent his son over to Antigua. Right? I'm listening. And he sailed into Carlisle Bay. Uh -huh. Old Road also. Okay. Same old road. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. So that's why maybe when he came over to Antigua, they gave it the name Old Road also. Old Road, okay. Old Road from Old Road, okay. Okay, okay. So St. Kitts really had a little to, to do with the colonization of Antigua. The Caribbean. Yes, in because... 16, in 1632. Yes, because they claim it, it's the mother colony of the West Indies. Yes. It was Ireland yeah. that became a colony. Right. And that is why Sir Thomas Warner was the first governor that he was the governor for these islands yes, in yes. the hemisphere. I got you. He yeah. okay. the, he the we, we are on the same. We are on the same page. Yes. It's just that we're probably saying it differently. Mm -hmm. Well, who, more history. Who know who first? Huh? <laughs> who first no, we, we don't we don't have a disagreement. <laughs> we're saying yeah. the same thing, yeah. but we're saying it differently. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he yeah. add yeah. more. Yeah. He's yeah. adding more because, like I say, the half have not been told. Yep. And right. so 
the more you speak, the more it's... Um, yeah, it yes, yes, yes. Yes. Now we're taking a right and we're going up into Wingfield Estate, which is called, close to it, you have the Caribel Batik. Mm -hmm. And this would be the closest area that you will get to the rainforest. Okay. So the hikers that go way up to um, the volcano yeah. will be on the other side. That's yeah, and that will be another tour for us or another yes, time for that. that yes. yeah. And your left hand side is the petroglyph, the drawings of the Caribs. Mm -hmm. And that's the drawing inside here, the Thank big you, stone. One second, one second, let me get the proof of it. So what is this? Uh, okay. No, no, no. We're going up towards. Why not this last one? Oh. Let me. Yeah. yeah. Things like this, they see, they see often. So. Oh, yeah, it's so. Okay. Which be good? Hieroglyph. The petroglyph. Petroglyph. Yes. Yes. Petroglyph. Yeah. Yeah. Artwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sitting here at the you know. Yeah, man. Um. Pretty good so far. Pretty good so far. I'm liking it. Let me adjust this a wee 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 bit. Yeah. I'm liking it so far, guy. Okay? Guess what? What? Tomorrow's going to shine. And everywhere seems to be closed. Where can we get breakfast? Oh, boy, that's a good question. Um, so from the time we start, before you continue to, I notice your ingenuity is on and your door blind. Yeah, the, the, this chair, this is for, um, we don't say handicap, we say a physically challenged person. Physi oh. So what happened is that this chair, I press a button and this, when I open the door and the chair will go outside and go beside the car. Uh -huh. And somebody in a wheelchair could pull up beside it and slide from the chair and go into this and this chair will lift them up and, and bring, bring them, them inside. But what happened is that the somebody threw something and the, 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 the board, the computer board got damaged, so I'm waiting on the computer board to replace it. Oh, so but then the light will come out. So then, then, no, no, no. Yes, then the light will come out, but I had to remove the the signal for the door because if not, the light will be, it will be saying beep, 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 oh. beep, all the time, so it's becoming disgusting. Oh. The other thing now, the engine light. The engine light came on because the car was, the engine was running. Yeah. The engine was running and I turned the key to oh. try to start the car again because I didn't hear oh, realize. Yes, pull, pull the engine was so quiet that you didn't hear it. I didn't hear it, yes. So that good, yeah. So that's what happened. So that's why you have two of them. But on our way again. You don't stop the show from going, so. <laughs> so why would the tour take Okay, I'll try and find out if there is any. I'll have your number so I'll be able to communicate. Mm -hmm. I'll try to find out if boozies will be open. No, they wouldn't. No? That's said, where we had lunch they yesterday. They said they'll be open in the day from lunch. Go down somewhere. Tomorrow, think, not tomorrow. In the strip, the strip. They said open the strip, the strip will be open. Boozies? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we can be having yeah. lunch. Yeah, yeah. at the strip, yeah. Breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast, yeah. You can find out if they'll have breakfast too. We'll no, find they out don't have breakfast. breakfast. No, they don't have the breakfast. They're going to go to the strip for breakfast. Let me find out. Let me find out if um, Alfredo, Alfredo's will have breakfast tomorrow. I gotta Where find out. That? Alfredo is downtown. And as we get closer up towards um, the sugar factory, and to the back of it, on your left, you will see African tulip. Mm -hmm. Yep. Shafiq Garda try to make sure that people are safe. This is how St. John's Town is with the people in the street. Tourists, we got that they can't get knocked down. Well, this only have traffic passing through, so. Oh, Carmel Batik is a more frustrated. And your immediate right hand side is the entrance to Carmel Batik. And see, you could have this volcano. Antigua does not have the. He's not fortunate enough to have all these mountains, so mm -hmm. it's a completely different mm -hmm. setup. Mm -hmm. behind. And straight behind here is um, a bomber. I mean, not a bomber, is the location. We're going to get out quickly and we're going to take up, spend about the five minutes here. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then we're going to move on, I'm going to back inside here, and we're going to walk around and go to the see where the rum is. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to do that in this area. This is the this is the um okay let me give this a break for a while because I don't want the sun to overheat the lens. Right? Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna do one more time and that's it. So she'll have to come and lift the car if she, over if she want to. But I'm done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, she said yes. And we can go and hold this to me a bit. Hold that bit. You get on. Usually work with all my my gears so that yeah. Yeah, let me let me use this one here because this is gonna have more life. This needs this need cooling down. Yes, we are in St. Kitts touring. Touring around. Yeah. And this way you call the aqueduct. Mm -hmm. Water run across the bridge and come down and keep wheel. Yeah. Yeah, big tourist attraction area folks, right here. In St. Kitts. Nothing much, nothing much, sir. Okay, they have the zip line inside here. No, this is zip line area. What happens is that once you book to go on the zip line and you have already paid the fee, uh -huh. what they do, they take you here and they're going to run some, put you to some trial runnings. Right. And once they start, once they satisfy that you could handle yourself and the zip, mm -hmm. then they will put you in this truck. Okay. And so you have different, you have different lines that you will use, and this will be the last of your flight when you return from the mountain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh boy! Yay! You phone them. You phone them. You're here. You can make arrangement. Find out from one of the gentlemen. They could tell you. What's the cost for this flight? Something it took one hour and one to two hours. How long it takes you to do it? Hundred US a person, right? Yeah. So we, we can probably see them do the, the test. See is what they do what you call a dry run. Yeah, yeah. And so they'll familiar them with the cheese and so on. And then oh, they'll go around here after they satisfy. Then they put them in the truck and take them up. Is the same thing like here? Then that have, then have, no. Then have the, um, the back part. If you had the back part, I just said, you had um, some going away. Uh -huh. The shop going away. And they'll hold them going But what they do, safety, mm -hmm. safety means a lot when they come mm -hmm. to. Um,
Yeah. Yeah, we could roll. We could roll until another time. I don't think we can. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Let's. Russ. Yeah, I'm going to take a picture. 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 Yeah, I'm going to take a For a spear? This gentleman down here, he, he said make sure that when he arrived, he remember, to, remember to follow them, right? Yeah. And so they yeah. coordinate with the top and the bottom. Oh, so, so they are actually going to zip into this, this They're going to zip into this one. And the this spring, one breaks. The spring going to go straight and break this pressure and then he's going to release back. Yeah. I the next one. So he set up to do two at the same time. Mm -hmm. For speed, he's going to do two. Got a bowler. There you go. Yeah, he's gonna release there. The camera is released. But his springs are heavy before they okay. pull the string. There we go. Knees up. Let's get the last one. I didn't um, trail that one too well. Jess, Jess. Let's do this last one and we'll move. Hey, you, oh, co you come this down side, down. come this side here. Put your hands on the stuff and your legs up. You, you can put your legs anywhere you want. Put your legs you up anywhere really you want. Today? He's putting back the tension and he, and he catches. Mm -hmm. And they agree with each other and they coordinate. But those, all those up there are much longer than this one. I know. So you have more speed, you have more clash. So you come now with more force? Yes, if you have your And especially, yeah. Who's going to win? Can you give me a year? Hands up. Now you go long. Now you go. Hands on the bar, feet up. Oh, where is it? Okay, that's it. Yeah. You good? Yeah, good stuff, man. Huh? Have a nice day. Keep up. All right, thanks a million. All right, all the best. What time you open, man? And check the rum distillery right now. Come 
wrong. They two in sync kids. So it's a nice 12 year old product on the table right here. No added sugar, no added preservative, it's all natural rum. Aged in bourbon barrels, so it got a nice whiskey forward. We do 1,000 bottle per batch, so this is 541, batch 11, one week old. This one just got whole awards in send back for the best age rum in the Caribbean. Today we have special meal, you're perfect, anything here, you're going to taste it there. Large ones are 69, small ones are 15. T-shirts and hats are 20, and in case you wish to taste it only $5. Anybody else have any questions? No, no. No taste no, today. No, no, no taste. That's no problem, my friend. All rum factory here in St. Kitts. Yeah. Yes, the boiling house, the curing house, the curing house and the boiling house. Okay, I so saw they have the copper sinking to the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Boiling. So, so this was the boil the boiling house. The boiling house. Whenever you whenever you get juice from the sugar, you strain, you skim, you strain. You right. Skim. That's right. And if you notice that they have no pay, they have no way to drain it out. You have this piece of sugar, and the strainer comes to here. So where is the cu curing house now? No, there is no curing house for um curing house is not for sugar. Uh -huh, yes. Curing house is for rum. Oh uh -huh. because you take the molasses yes. and make the rum. <laughs> yes, right. And what happened is that you take the those days they never had granule sugar. They had liquid sugar. Yes, yes. So the yes. liquid sugar, once it's heated and it's going to a boil, then you will skim the top for the molasses and the bottom is where you will put in the cast. In the hog set, in the hog set to ship. That's yes, yes. the hog set it's over there. Down, right. So barrel, the, Ready to yeah, ship. those are the barrel, the hog said they used to call them. Yes. Yeah. History in sink it, folks. Yep. This is history. history. Hmm. What's on the other side over there? On the other side over there is just plain um, park uh, grass. Of the, of the, okay. Of the, of the yes, but okay. This, you, wouldn't like to see, you wouldn't like to close your eyes and imagine this in action. The amount of people, the smoke and, and everything. I know, and I know. Because if the smoke not going up in the chimney, it's going to spread all around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heat. Yes. Oh my God. Work from sun up till sundown. Yes. yes, I'm at the old sugar factory in St. In St. Kitts. And believe me, believe me, folks, this is history. This is history. This is history. The copper, where the molasses uh, stored and skim, boiling house rather. This was the boiling house. And you see this, imagine there was a cover in here and inside here, the steam from here, or the fire from here, going back here. You're gonna, 
No, we'll walk up. No, we'll walk up. We'll walk up. Yes, yes. Yes. Thank you, man. Okay. As you said, the process, the process of the rum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And those are the distillery down below. Okay. Actually, I know how to cook rum. You ever I see? Know. This is not. This is the old first old factory, right? This is the first old. Long so the other one you see um, sugar made in the other one. Well, what happened? Yes, but what happened is that ours, the 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 modern rum distillery that mm. we make now, yeah, is just using molasses, okay. and because we used to buy the molasses from the thing, okay, and put the molasses in a pot to boil, uh -huh. and what we put, we put what you call like a overhead, and the overhead go into a warm barrel which is yeah. a cooling tower right and as it boil because <clears throat> rum is actually steam and as it boil it go over in the overhead and come down into the steam barrel and go into a warm cooling tower like a radiator and the rum will come out okay and that's why you call the straight rum straight so rum yeah we used to do that see you have something like here mm -hmm. right see it like steam and yes, go over to yes. cool for the cooling tower, mm -hmm. which is very, very, very interesting. Okay. 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 Good. He's gonna get the car. He come around and meet us. He's gonna get the car. Where is um? Where is? Jeez. You wanna hold this one? Can you hold that one. And Where do I hold? Right down there, and Where just keep it steady. And what's in front of you, like? Let me just put this on. Yeah. Do what you can here because you need as much footage as possible. Right. Oh, yeah. Looks like my battery for my transmitter is out, but I have a built-in mic inside here, so that would work, right? Oh, this is beautiful history. Yeah. According to the tour guide, the ranger, his tour. So we are in Old Road Distill Rum Tour, Distillery Tour. Rum tasting, museum and shop, Alfie's Bar. Chuck full of history. As you can see, even the forestry here.
I'm gonna set my. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so I was heavily pan too, but then after that, uh, I always use the proper size. It's a large idea, but no size. Wait, in Antigua? Natural Antigua. size. In Antigua. Natural size you can, should you, be maintained. You can enhance other places to create the, 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 the that illusion, but you know. Creativity. The creativity, yeah. You're yeah, welcome to spot it on Nelson Dockyard where you see when you go to Nelson, Nelson Dockyard all this is your empty house You're yeah, nice up the place and you know, welcome people to put on park or something and sit down with you Yes, see your brimstone, he'll put us to shame Yeah, look for all this, you're going now, you know, you feel like you know me and you show your father where you go but then, yeah. History yeah. does not have to show you the complete stuff it has mm -hmm. to leave something there for your imagination yes. just like the rum distillery there, right? Mm -hmm. because where we saw those boiling houses they were complete building cover right there. Yes, yes, right. Yes, correct. And if you notice, is you have to use your imagination now uh, see, a replica of how it was looking yes. before. Now we are going up towards Romney's Manor, and as we come around the bend, you will be going straight into the salmon tree. And someone claimed that it's about over 400 years old. And this tree here. Two. Yes. It look like. Um, let me tell you what she would. Um, salmon. Um, Does it put uh, just flowers, beautiful okay. flower like a shaving brush. One oh. color, multiple color. It's, flowers, yeah, you normally flower. Multiple color, color flowers in there, flower, yeah. Wow, pinkish, okay. purplish, yes. Uh -huh. Some like the Chinese people and trees, wow. but it's one of the oldest tree that you could find it and the largest, like in the largest in Zinke, one of the largest one. Wow, yes, that's a good find. This, it has been said that the district could speak, he'll tell you a story based on the things that he has seen. Mm -hmm. wow. You have seen plenty of weed. Plenty of weed. a lot of black stuff, big black stuff. Yeah. To go inside this room in Mano, they ask for a $3 entry fee. If you don't want to, you don't have to go in. You could do it another time. So what, did, what is it to be seen in there? What they're doing there is idea is to they make, they take white fabric and turn it into boutique. Batik is the thing where you call tie dye. Mm -hmm. the, oh, oh, oh. The name Batik comes from, um, uh, it's originated in Indonesia. But okay. the name, the name Carib, Caribel, come from Belmont and Carib, Carib, um, Carib and Arawaks, Indian, you see? I should have linked the two together, Caribel yes. Batik. Yes. Because the Belmont tie dye stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tie dye stuff, stuff, yes. I can skip that one. Okay, gotcha. I can skip that one. Okay, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna go straight down towards Brimstone Hill. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Why I say I can skip that? Because coming from Guyana and dealing with fabric and you know, we had a textile mill down here. Well, you say Guyana different. You say Guyana like a, um, a West Indian person because normally Guyana is a Guyana. <laughs> no, we say Guyana. She has a long one. They run the world in one, they say Ghana. So look at my car back in Nigeria. You know, and textile and tie dyes, and you know, you just have to see it in a different place. But the environment, just. And the scenery. And I like all the taxis, then I walk by you know. The conditions that we've met so far, they're very, very hospitable. They're very courteous. Yeah, kind. Take time. Yeah, take time. Yes. Give no woman to the army today. And she, she like a she and two guys, and she tell you. And she called mm -hmm. to yeah. find out. Yeah. She did, just didn't leave us like that. The man that shows us where the big fear or something was. Yeah, for the big he was good. And the man from the car down by the um, jetty, you know. He actually carried to the jetty. To the jetty? Yeah, when I'm going to go, I'm um, leaving. When the man run it out, tell our family, our family go right down to the, um, to the No, to the he jetty. said it was late, so I decided to run behind him. Yeah, but he was good. Yeah. But he knew we were, you know, yeah. he said that. So when he walked, we walked. When mm -hmm. he ran, we ran. Yeah, I put the man on it. Yeah, man. Good permanent. So exit on different places and enter all just on different roads. We really need free movement in the Caribbean. It will build a better unity. 
well, a relationship. Just the other day, they were saying that they was going to have, um, they're going to remove the six months from the Caribbean. And Gaston Brown said, no, no way. And people in sync it say, Take me Prime Minister and carry him over to Antigua and take Brasco and bring him to St. Kitts because we want him here. Uh-uh. <laughs> you know, be careful, heard right? They say, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Well, they yeah, say, another one, another one price, you know, they say they want Gaston over here yeah. because Gaston be say what you wish he for. don't want the free movement. Free movement so so that means that mean the conditions don't want the free movement? They don't want that kind of movement, no, no, no. Because what happened is that you could understand is that there are lots of people, if you notice, there are people by this side of the road selling coconut and all kind of different things. They're not Kittishan, that more Jamaican. Mm -hmm. And so you have an issue with them. What happened, the Jamaicans, when they go places, they can practically take over and do things that they want to do. Mm -hmm. And you want them today, they come back tomorrow. You want them today, they come back yeah. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so it takes a lot of energy from our enforcements to to, to monitor them. And there's a small island. This is the train part, right? Yeah, the bridge for the train, yes. yes. So what happened is that people are very skeptic because if they get that from one set, and, just imagine everybody. And they, they are in the millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are in the millions. Yeah, yeah. We only about 50, over 50,000. Yeah. So we have to be very cautious. What's your population like? Over 50,000 people. Yeah, and and those, countries, those countries are in the millions. Mm -hmm. oh, millions of Jamaican. They will overrun us. Yeah. Sure, they'll overrun you easily. Okay, according to your population, just over 50,000 now. 50,000 persons. About how much Kittitians you are reached within that? Kittitians? The island is made up of more Kittitians than foreigners. Yes, it, it is right now, but but but, the, but 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 I'm I'm not I'm not sure. But the the, the what happened? What what actually happening in Sinkits right now is that you have you have this this is sheep. You have you have lots of um you have lots of Guyanese, um, Jamaicans, Dominicans, and um, any Santo Domingo people. Yes, yes, Santa people from Santo Domingo. But one of the things is what they are doing, what they are doing, right? They are not they are not integrating with the people. What they are doing, they have their own community. Yes. They have what you call they have what you call um Jamaican um association. And so and so what happened when they do get together? A problem. They strategize. They strategize. And they, they speak, they, they talk about the issues. Mm -hmm. And when they bring up the issues, the leader have access to our political leaders, yes. which they have position to vote. Now, mm -hmm. you think, as a citizen of your constituency, you have access to your leaders, but you don't. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is that when, sure, when the foreigners speak to the politician, mm -hmm. he speaks to the politician and he say, I have... 400 Jamaicans behind me yep. who could support you. Yep. Oh, so he got 400 votes. Mm -hmm. So he's sure, he, he's saying in his mind, he could back the 400 votes. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. And so when you think you know your politician and you could go to the politician, lock off the phone, he don't want to see you. Yep. He don't know. Because he know that he have them to offset the balance. Yep. So when you think, not only that, if there is a job vacancy open, inside that area is a Jamaican. Well, you think that you're going for the job? A Jamaican coming from Jamaica for the job? Yep. yep. For the so, so you see, your local people are being hampered on both sides of the fence. The politician that you vote for, selling the votes, selling your strength to other people, and so you will find that non-national are working when the nationals are or not working and employed. So they don't have a labor group department that. Um, you offer the nationals the vacancy first? Well, what happened, when I think that happened, no. And then if it, you don't, don't do the no, because you see, once you say, once you, say that, once you say that, once you say that, you are now talking CARICOM. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, hey, from the CARICOM, the person got a job, what are you going to tell them? The person is already in the job. Yep. And most of the employers are non national. Yep. So they prefer, most because one of the things is that they could hire you. They could hire you from um, 
Trinidad, wherever you might be from, and pay you little or nothing, and get away with it because as far as you're concerned, you're going to keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and while you're keeping your mouth, you're underpaid and you just glad for the job. Yeah, and you're working, money. yes. So, so you're working. saving your money. Yes. And then if the employers, most of the employers are non nationals, that means most investors are non nationals? You're correct. Well, then the nationals need to invest. Well, you, but, but you see, how are you, how you going to invest in a product? Well, let me tell you something. One of the things is that it has been said that the prophet have no honor in his own country. Oh. And so therefore, you, most people will pick a boy from somebody else, an Indian, mm -hmm. a Chinese, mm -hmm. that to buy from a local. Yep. I have driven an Indian man, and he tell me plain, he said, why? Let me tell you, I love Kittishan, and I do like them bad. Mm -hmm. But one of the things is Kittishan spend bad. Mm -hmm. He says, Kittishan, Kittishan will want something, and they buy it right now, and they don't care what they're going to do tomorrow, but what they buy it now. Mm -hmm. And he said, I think where people live. They, they, they live they live differently just the moment and so only time you will see the indians mix with us is if we go to watch a game of cricket but after that you don't see them you don't see them the the, the spanish will not go to one of our people bar mm -hmm. they will go to a spanish bar and invite you oh, no, to the they bar would do that, yeah. spanish, just spanish, so 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 the integration no, is not going to work out the jamaican will support the jamaican too mm -hmm. They don't want, they don't know each other in Jamaica, but they only want to hear your yardy. Once mm -hmm. you are yardy, the man, the man will link up with you. They support the brother. They support, yes, yes. So therefore, you assist, when you think that your population will be going to yeah. Kittishan, it will be going diversifying. diversifying. No. And not only that, they spend more time at the Western Union mm -hmm. and money gone money. to send back the money. Uh -huh. And so, when the money gone back, they spend very little less of what they have on the island. So you'll be, you'll be building what you call a void or vacuum. Mm -hmm. The foreigners can own homes here like that? Well, depends on the depends on the status. So there's a fee. Depends on the status. So you have those things that are going. If if somebody said they come to sink it and they're going to set up and they're going to stay here and so on, that's a, that would be a different story. Mm -hmm. That's okay. all you see. They have a mission. Yeah, but if, you, if you're planning to just do a happy boy, you plan to go to that one. So we do. On the right hand side is the tomb of Sir Thomas Wanna. Okay. And it is said over here, it says, the site of the first Anglican church in the Eastern Caribbean. And it says, this cemetery, cemetery holds the remains of Sir Thomas Wanna, the first English governor of the West Indies. Who who launched, who launched the colonization of the west of the islands and some who launched the colonization of the islands and then he go on to say samuel jefferson um the ancestors of third president of the of the united states okay. of america okay, okay so is it thomas warner is related to the jeffersons then president of the united states of america no the, Jeff the jeffersons because you have two people up there Barry, right mm -hmm. Samuel and Samuel oh, okay. Jefferson. Samuel Jefferson. How did he get here if he was um, an American? Who? No, because remember the colony, me, same colony. Yes, but they leave from here and went to the United yes, States. Same yes, same colony. Mm -hmm. West Indies and the United States mm -hmm. were colonies of England. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah, at the time there, until when America gained the Civil War independence. Yes. And we just gained it the other day. What, the independence? Yeah. 81? you said, right? Sink 1983. 83, Sink it's Sink it's been Sink it's been 200 years. Yes. Okay. It forced to become colony, last to become independent. I don't think they're going to give anybody else independent. Or uh, anybody else is wanted. Yeah, they're going to find. Huh? Like, Mon anybody, I don't think the others want it anymore. Monstrad? Yeah. They well, don't want it, no. I don't, th I don't think they want it. I think they feel better. Yes, uh, yes well, of course. Uh, yeah, of but course. the thing is... I used to get a tough time. The thing is, what happened... You shouldn't get a tough time. What happened is that when I was much younger, I wanted to go to England. My passport, my British subject. Yes. And I had to get a visa to go to England. Today my passport mark sink its navies and I could go to England just like that. I don't need a visa. Conspiracy in those days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to keep you away. They just want to 
Mm. And so that's why when you live, you have to live to the fullest extreme and enjoy it because you never can tell. You never can that's tell. That's why we're here. We're also you so never can tell when they might come and invade us again and warn their islands. Well, they could do it. They have the military yeah. might to do it. They could do anything. We, we don't have no guns. We don't have no... We don't have anything. We don't have no military and all that. I don't have education. All we have is yes men around. Only well, thing, only thing that's keeping us um, away from them is the pride and dignity because they don't want yeah, the yeah. outcry of other allies in the world saying, oh, you do them that. Yeah, they do do them. Oh, another force might take over, like the Chinese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They could do anything. You see, they're creeping in, the Chinese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyway, anyway, the world, the I, I think that's the way we should live on Earth anyway. We should be free to go where you want to go. Yeah. Uh, and uh, roam around like birds. And exactly. With limitations still, you know? Yeah. Because not all birds, not all birds can live everywhere and go anywhere. Yeah. But you see, there are people who have criminal intention. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do with them? <laughs> yep. What are you going to do with them? Because somebody commit, go and take and commit a lot of crime. And, and you're looking for, and they go back where they come from. Are they go to another island and do a that's, load that's, yeah, do that, yeah. And you're looking for the person you can't find them because then don't go. they're gone don't already. And then when they're tired of sinking, they go back to Antigua. Mm -hmm. Because when I look at some of the crimes that happen in Antigua, I say this, this thing, they tell him sound like Antigua. Mm -hmm. Come that's out, a, come out as a hit run, hit and run. Every, every day, every come, day. Come in and hit and then go back out. People wrap gas, gas station and everything. When I look at the news in Antigua, I see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still hold all the dirtiness and the criminal acts coming from the US. They look too much at TV and too much at things and it coming down from there. And the weapons and everything coming right down from there, coming right through the port. I understand that, but how can you look at your brother, man? How I can I look at him? I rub him. I rub him. You need to Come ban, on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. ban some of those things. Oh, I man. Somebody gets shot in the mouth. Yeah, but how can, how can I rub him? Wait, you want, you wait right now, eh? it used to be enemies and stuff of strangers. Now it's friend killing friend. Oh, my gosh. They're family really killing family. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now approaching Brimstone Hill. Based on the archaeologist's finding, it has been said that during a volcanic explosion, Brimstone Hill emerged from the bottom of the ocean and stands out like a beacon in the western side of St. Kitts. The height of the fortress is 800 feet above sea level and it is 40 acres in diameter. The British side fit to build a fortress on the top of Brimstone Hill which is, consists of guns and magazines and barracks alike. Today, it is controlled by UNESCO, the World Heritage Site. It's a museum and so those who wishes to go into Brimstone Hill can do so and visit it and relive and react those days of the 17th and 18th century military architecture. Today is a beautiful day, the sun is shining and the breeze is blowing and um, one could take beautiful photographs if they so desire. And uh, we could take our time and as we escalate up to Brimstone Hill. So, anybody have any question while we do this? So, what year? No, Did you mention the year that they start to make, make that erection of Brimstone Hill, the fortress up here? The but okay, what I can tell you, the Battle of Brimstone Hill took place in 1782. Mm -hmm. you, had, you had the separation of the French and the British, where the French settled on the eastern side and the British settled on the western side, which is this location of the British. It so happened that confusion break out between the French and the British and the French decided that they was going to capture the fortress because in those days were the days of Napoleon where whoever take the high ground was in charge and it was a threat to the French and the French decided hey we're going to take them by storm which they did and fortunately they were successful in gaining the victory by firing the guns the musket using the sword and so on and do some killing now, having captured the fortress, what they did, they marched into the fortress in a victorious way, but no contingency plan. And so while in the fortress, the British regrouped and decided to surround the fortress. And having surrounded the fortress, cut off all of their supply. Having the supplies cut off, they decided they brought them to the negotiation table. And the negotiation was in the agreement that they will leave the island. Having leave the island, 
having agreed to leave the island, that is when the island became a full-fledged British, British colony because in the absence of the French. Brimstone Hill Fortress National Park. We can go with the windows down and take out the AC now. I think so if you want to. Yeah. Here's your apartment, that's the problem. No. Um, just give me one behind No, me. if you smell anything funny, that will be sulfur. Yes. Yes. I know that for I'm sure. Not, Coming up on your immediate right hand side is a beautiful sign, and I kind of like this sign here. It says Brimstone Hill Fortress UNESCO World Heritage Site. An exceptional and well preserved example of 17th and 18th century military architecture. Spectacular views, educational, awesome. Mm -hmm. On our way up to Brimstone Hill, folks. Now we are heading up towards Brimstone Hill, and we'll be taking it from here. We'll be meeting where you call an entrance. Yes, it'll take a while before it cool down. Oh. As we drive up to Brimstone Hill, I notice that they're being prejudiced towards dogs and we'll have to do a demonstration because they're being very bad against dogs. <laughs> oh, well, I guess the monkeys are allowed. <laughs> so we will have to um, demonstrate. You know, everything in the US we demonstrate for against eh? I'm going to bring up your dog, of course, and say, dog have rights too. Your dog have rights. I'm a seen eye dog. Dog you have come rights. Yeah. You come from a hike, I'm not going to see an eye dog. The dog must go back and say, look. You want to tell me no dogs are low? That's yeah. that can't be. That's a madness. And you can't tell monkey no go back. Hold on. Monkey go anywhere they want. Yeah. But dog, that will protect your local people. You know, I would like to see monkeys in the tree. Natural habitat. Yes. Every couple of more days, you might you might see them indeed. Yeah. A long time I haven't seen monkeys. Yes, up to Brimstone Hill, 800 feet. I thought it was seven. You're going up, Daddy. driving up with that. It'll be a nice walk. Yeah. How high is Boggy Peak? 1,300 feet. 1,319 feet, rather. But if you're measuring up to the tower, it's a little higher. And the mark is not Yeah. There's, we don't have much of um, any mountains in Antigua. Antigua have beaches. Yeah, I have beach Banga. I think I could still take the largest. No, cruise ship? Cruise ship? No. No, can't take anything. Well, in my view, Antigua is an island just like St. Kitts. And just like how you can part off, part off, and make 300 or how much beaches, any island can do the same. No, it's not that, it's the place is really narrow. He's just there to the edge of the, the, the bar. No. You over there. All we need is common courtesy. Yeah. yeah. Common courtesy and share the same space. You know, who coming down should stop yeah. to allow well, those you coming up. Why reach a broad you know? opening. Yeah. It's exactly. easy to come down, harder to go up. Mm -hmm. If the man are coming up with the, the, the weight of chance. This is how you should go with your horn. Yeah. Uh, Come wall fortification. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, it's the top of the hill we are? No, not yet. We haven't gone nowhere yet. Oh. I know we are at the entrance of Wimston Hill. We are asking a contribution of um, $15 per person. $15? I thought they charged $15 per person. No, per person. Per person, sure. 
Fifteen dollars per person. That would be thirty, forty-five dollars. How about your residence? That's your residence. Yeah. 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 Right. That would be US. Fifteen US. Yeah. Fifteen US is how much? Fifteen US. Forty-five. Thirty something now. Fifteen US would be forty East. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's right. You got it here. You got it covered. Yes, right here. Admission fee for the EC. Yep. Cashier is slow. I'm a change. You they don't have any change? Come on, man. They're, they're, they're... Really? What kind of music kitchens like? Any kind of music. It's just like everybody else in another country. It depends on who the person no, is. No, I mean, um, like Guyanese love is not an island, it's a country, but we love all these. Yeah, you have a lot of reggae and stuff, but in Antigua, you would find their old music is more like the Calypsos and that kind of thing, right? Uh -huh. But they would listen to old music as well, nice, but who can dance it? I, I for one, listen to every music. Keep my way up, keep it a little fast because we have this is brimstone here. We're climbing here. Climb it to the top, at least. Got about half a way here to spare. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. This is something else. That hill is higher. That's the mountain, that's the volcano. At Mount Misery. Mount Misery. Mount Misery, call it. <laughs> like something? Oh, yeah. Mouth of bread, folks. After. Yeah. Defense. No. Can't beat this, folks. I think I can see St. Martin over there. Sabre. 
and St. Eustatius right over there. But right here, we had Brimstone Hill, folks. We can get in and go further. Most stuff to see inside here. Dreamstone Hill. Go upstairs first. Your hands over here. Let me hold that. Let me yeah, get yeah. the other side. And um, while you're doing this side here, I could be doing another side. Good, nice, bright sunshine also. I'm trying to figure if down there was the living quarters really. Uh, you never know. You have to read the brochure. I don't see it. I, have, I gave you one. Oh, I don't know, the brochure, no. Can I read the brochure when you're looking at the scenery? How the planning's were well set. Do you have an exit here? A little dark room there. No? Yeah. Okay.
Mm. Yeah, they probably um, assemble it inside here. Yeah. It's look like a gunpowder room. Powder store. All these rooms down here were gunpowder rooms. Keep it down, keep it down. much as I can get. Right around it, this is Brimstone Hill Fortification, folks. Built way back. Way, way back. Can't tell you the exact date unless I look, but took a hundred years to build. About a hundred years to put together. And one is, this one is one of the best heritage sites in the Caribbean. I've been here before, but never get the opportunity to walk around and collect this kind of footage here. So I sort of know where I'm going around here, because this is about my third climber or drive up here. Yes. Something like that. I gotta make it fast because time is money. Well groomed, well kept. How you doing? There's another gunpowder room right here. You take me right back inside. 
right back inside, take me out to the other door. When I looked inside there first, it was dark. I didn't see there was an exit on the other side until now I went outside and, and back in from the other way. Give you a pan around, all around. This is Brimstone Hill fortification, folks. I haven't seen the others, they're probably looking for me. Oh, he's all the way over there. So let me walk down now, because I think I have enough of inside there. Let me walk down now. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, the little attachment around here. There's nothing in the Eastern Caribbean like this, folks. The other one that come close to this is that one in Haiti. That the French built way up in the mountain, 3,000 feet high. And this is a big part of history, of the days gone by. There was the fight between the Spanish, the English, and the French for these territories out here. Oh yes, you could go up more than once. Let's take a look around here. Let's get a Let's get a look around view of here. No parking down on that side there. Someone down there just taking a snooze in the sun. I tell you what, folks, yeah. Even that little piece over there, not ready for viewing yet as they're thinking about what to do with that maybe. But look at it, well groomed, well kept. Lots of tourists there. That house on the Okay. Yeah. Let's check this one out here. Infantry quarters. Let's check this out.
let's 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 check here first. Let's check on top here first. On top here and give you what it's looking like on the north side, northwestern side here. Give you a walking around right here. I'm on top of this building here and then giving you know walking around of how it was looking around here in the day and maybe here also or they had it for guns to place on top here maybe not you'll have to get down there and see what the quarters inside here are looking like I'm just trying to use my imagination from a little distance. That's the way Brimstone Hill is looking up there. And I'm going to walk right back here and um, yeah, show you this open area here. And I can then go down to this section here. Down to this section. And put the building here in the backdrop yeah oh yes oh yes this walk will take you oh yes this walk will take you right down there to that other one that's how it was mapped out so here was not an easy place it's complex and all cut stone all stone uh-huh. Oh yeah. Sweep you around, give you that panoramic view. Oh yeah. Bring it right around and tell you this connection also had to do it down there. This step I'm going down at. I'm using an Osmo Pocket 3 folks. Uh-huh. Giving me all that panoramic view. No shaky videos. I'm going to just show you. I'm not going to go down this part anymore. I'm going to just show you the step going down. Uh huh. Complication. And take you all the way back to that section there. All the way over there. Oh, yes. This is Brimstone Hill Fortification. Look at it. I'm on little one little section here. And I'm getting a good overcast, overcast of clear sunshine. Hardly any cloud to talk about in the sky. That's good lighting. Also using a filter on this ND filter. Variable ND filter, I did not touch it to adjust it anymore from yesterday. And it's looking rather good still. I think we have about 10 more minutes to walk around or five more minutes or so. So, let me do my thing, give you a backdrop of when I'm walking up here. Got a few goats up here too. So, yeah. Good climbing feet will take you around here in a few minutes and give you all the descriptions. How are you doing? How are you doing? Take myself back over here and maybe go downstairs there, see what's under there.
and we'll walk under here. Walk it on the other side. Whole heap of gunpowder room under here. Yeah. Yeah. Walk it all around to the other end now. I'm going to put myself in the wall going through the middle now. It's look like the exit right here now, you know. Gate, bathroom under there. This is the exit right here. There's a step also here, incomplete maybe. Well, this one. On this side is just window on this side here. Yeah, okay, moving we'll further, I will make my get out of here, taxi probably waiting on us now, I think it's just about half hour. Let me see if the others are waiting by the vehicle. No sights of them yet. Okay, I see one. See ya. Okay. 
Let me save this portion it's here. It's by Germany. German control world right now. But most of the British are German. Leland, Leland, and all German. I think that's why we should um, maintain and care what the British would have left. Are you expensive for starting with it? I'm also good, and they set them. I'm not going to America, I took America as far as. I don't know the infrastructure as well. I was really, really planning to make most of Antigua Road now to concrete. Yeah, I got to the best thing. When I come back again, but yeah, you draw back from every rain coming in, it's like, it's like, it's like, When you slide touch your brakes here, you're going to skip it. Yeah. 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 No, they're not good. They're not build good. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to say I'm giving them credit to build those roads. Yeah. yeah, the asphalt is more suitable than the tire. The, the, the car run with less noise. I'm not hearing any any noise pollution noise from the road here because of the way this this road is paved. Right? Our roads are so rough and. Rough and coarse that yes, is just all nice you're driving with. <laughs> yeah. And eat up your tire more. Anyway, what you buy what you buy is what you wear. Yes, And I the protection and then do the sun from then do the mixed up. Yes, right. Uh, that's the asphalt area right there. Not the asphalt there. The um, lime. lime. Yeah. Lime. Yep, yep, yep. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to Benson Hill. Please come again. You should have yes, you yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you for a good tour of Benson I'll sleep good tonight again. Gentlemen, that was Brimstone Hill, the Gibraltar of the West Indies. Yeah. And we continue in a westerly direction down towards the village of Sandy Point. Okay, so when we were at Brimstone Hill there, the two islands we saw out there, as a matter of fact, three of them. The three are there. Saint Martin, is it? Saber, and Saint Eustatius. Saint Eustatius is the close one, yes. It's the closest one, and then Saber, and, Saber. and then Saint Martin over there. Saint Martin, where are you? Martin, uh, I, we, I, too far. I, no, I glimpse it a little bit, man. Yeah. Well, he, yeah. he know what you the, can see. The sign up top show you find to which part then. So when okay. you look on the gun, the sign tell you number five, uh, same Martin, number three, same Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. You, yeah, there's a little glimpse of Saint Martin out there a while ago. It's very where you see it. Uh, yes, yes. But this town is Saint um this this is Sandy Point. Sandy Point. Going in, you know, mm -hmm. and this town is a mile long. Okay. This one is red walls. These red walls is a playground at the top, and somebody decided to use red bricks to make the fence. It's a nice look on the other side. Where you call it? Crematorium, burn the body. Yes, yes. Where? In town. Back, okay. yeah. Back where we stay? No, it's on the outskirts of town. Uh -huh. like below, uh -huh. below the brewery. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have somebody to burn? No, oh, but they are. Nah, nah, they have a crematorium. They don't have a crematorium. They don't have a Oh, you mean they don't have one here in Antigua? They're working on it. Right. We're working a lot. There is one here and it's cheaper to, to do that than to bury. Yeah. 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 You wouldn't know the difference. I wouldn't know. I would But I thought they say in India they burn everybody. I cannot see it. 
Yeah, talk about that billion plus people. <laughs> and every week at least 20, 30 people are there. Yeah, yeah, fine. The body take off for seven years to so, so do anything. Now you're in Sandy Point and coming up on your left is the Paxton Hospital mm -hmm. for Sandy Point. Okay. And then you're right with the health center. Mm -hmm. okay. Further down you will have the Roman Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Pope of Sandy Point. We're still in Sandy Point? Yes, we're still in yeah. Sandy Point. So a bloody point. The only place that I didn't call out is that um, zip line area there. But I, yes. Well, maybe I still call it away, say I want to go to the rum tasting part there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I didn't know they had the zip line there also. The zip line is to the back. Yeah. yeah. So, how do you guys rate Sink It and Antigua? In terms of. Um of tourism? Well, my gut's feeling, uh, I'm feeling satisfied in my perception of St. Kitts. In other words, I'm not going to really compare both of them all the time because you told me that they want Gaston down here. They and, want I, Gaston and we of don't want statement, of Okay, statement. right. So, so um, well, we don't want integration, but not people come to. Because you want Run to, you over, take you, you know, over. You don't want to be taken over. And you know you could be taken over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I make a difference in the voting and all that kind of stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Although at one time you could you had free movements of people going anywhere. And I was saying politician who have any head mash up everything. Otherwise, things would have played out long time since 1958 and all that. When they have um when they're trying to federation. do federation. Yeah, the federation. Right? We wouldn't have anything I know any better to worry about. But okay. today now, when we have to live in our little tribal area and defend it and whatnot. That's not a problem. Yeah. That's not a problem. You know, you can't get the you know. Then yeah, you we, come. we come sort of ethnocentric. We defend a little turf like, you know. Yeah. And uh, that is not good because I like the freedom to come down here mm -hmm. and immigration to ask me how long we stay and show your passport and all that. That didn't happen a hundred years ago. Uh, even in the 1950s and 40s, when they were Leeward Island Federation. I thought you should be able to travel on your driver's license. One time, I remember one time no. I went to Antigua, and the immigration officer told me to take a seat. <laughs> and I take a seat, and they're sitting up for a long time, then afterwards they say, well, tell me something. You come from Sinkins. Are you going back to Sinkins? Tomorrow morning, I say yes. You say, you don't understand. It doesn't make no sense. And you just come and sink it over and you can go back and sink it the next morning. Yeah. So you had a mission so, then? So I had a mission. I went to do some, collect some, some I went to collect some documents in um, Antigua from somebody who was coming in and then come back to sink it, take a charter flight the next day because I couldn't get a commercial flight. Yes, back. yeah, yeah. So then he say, he say, he say, let me see your passport again. He take my passport, I mean, look at your passport, and he see sink it in. He say, oh, me ask you, boy, sorry, you know. I thought you was from, <laughs> he said, I thought you was from, um, what did you make? Someone in the country, other country here. Yeah. Yeah. He said, sorry, I didn't realize it's he sink it. But I say, he's been born in sink it, everything in sink it. He say, apologize, he apologize, sorry about that thing. And he kind of tired and he was over there. Mm. So, um, if the Jamaica plane comes from Jamaica, I'm going to turn a police boat and then there's something will come to So maybe that's the person for you. Maybe that's the person for you. And then man, I have to bring her to the And then one time I was coming through from St. Thomas. I was coming from St. Thomas to think it's from... So I stopped in Antigua, that's where This is how all the road in Antigua stay, like yeah. right between here. Right, yeah. 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 The same finish, they got to come and finish this. Right. Yeah, yeah. Something they're going to do with, with the bridge, they're going to put yeah, the water okay. underneath. Okay. They're going to put the water underneath. So. so what happened is that you tell me, 
I was sitting there and my foot was crossed. You know the bench they crossed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your foot crossed, but your shoe hanging off, you should take and the security guard come in and say, take your foot down, you can't sit down like that. Thing, you know? Rough and coarse. But I said, say, but that me ain't got nothing to do with you, you ain't got nothing to do with me. Why you coming here, coming to film me for? He said, you want to get arrested? And I say, why would I want to get arrested? But I'm sitting down, if my shoe was on the, the bench, I could understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my foot hanging off and relaxing because I'm here for a period of time. Mm -hmm. Me not care what you do, take down your foot. And it is Leg. the entrance to the well, Let me pronounce the word for me again there. Yeah? I don't get it right. Mm -hmm. Lamiga. Moit Lo Amiga. Uh, La Amiga. La Amiga. Yes. Yeah. And if you want to go, I'll leave you there and come back for you tomorrow morning. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, folks, we're enjoying this little time around St. Kitts, and I couldn't deserve better. Hospitality is great. And I would recommend St. Kitts. I would recommend St. Kitts highly for visit people. And we would recommend the ranger to take you around. That's right. Thank you for your kind gesture. What I think that made me laugh about Antigua. They tell Gaston, his son, doing some kind of business yeah. and yeah. it's conflict of interest. A big conflict of interest. Gaston says, so what, my son is supposed to live like everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> so why is he in the business? <laughs> <laughs> and he don't care of him. No, he care. <laughs> and he went and said, is he school? And all, yes. all school children have to wear a uniform. Mm -hmm. And some of them are injured drawing up tug of war. Cricket. Kite, cricket mm -hmm. and so on right. and if you notice there is no question about that's real school you got special shoes or you got special pants all of us dress alike mm -hmm. black shoes khaki pants mm -hmm. and the girls in tunic yes that's it mm -hmm. yes you come here to learn it's a learning learning institution mm -hmm. and so therefore straight ahead are some um, Casarina, these trees are called the Casarina. Willow tree, we call them. What do you call them? Willow tree. You know them? Yeah. We have a lot in Antigua. Yeah. Fort James has a lot, guys. Okay. I'll be yeah. Mm. Yeah. The Jujubs fell on and me. Nice on the they're willow the tree. They're the, they're the singing in the wind. Yeah. 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 Brotherson Estate, mm -hmm. the water department is remarking those areas yeah. where the valves is. Okay. And they want to make it like a gated community mm -hmm. where they want to sell the land up to a certain price. Oh, yeah. As we get around on the other side of this corner, we'll find that we find the uh, beautiful Remada Hotel on the other side. Coming up on your right hand side is an Anglican church mm. that stands by itself. And Remada on your left. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After passing Ramada, then you're going to look up further and you're going to see the island of St. Eustatia. Yeah, yeah, right over there, folks. What look like sand? That's oh, the, the white part that you're seeing is the um, line. That's St. Eustatia? St. Eustatia, yes. Wow, that's really visible. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the other one is Sabre, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Martin, you can see the whole yes, yeah, yeah. So that's Martin's supposed to be below that. Yeah. Mm. You can stand up and see it on the swim and go to the same Say hello to the sharks when we're on your way. <laughs> Shark infested you water. Right mm. Yes, yeah, Martin. yeah, yeah. Okay. No, St. Martin is further down. Further down. Oh. You have to go down at least a few miles well to get to St. Martin. Past Stacia. 
Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying that you can see the outline of that way. And that, that wouldn't be St. Martin. What, what that one? I'm not sure, but it's not St. Martin. Okay. St. Martin is where, whenever you fly from St. Kitts and you pass station, you fly in quite a while before you reach St. Martin, mm. after you finish past station and you left, and then you, as you go further down, then you pick up St. Martin and you right. So maybe, uh, Isaac, maybe Antigua then? No, 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 no Antigua, no, Antigua, Antigua is that. Antigua is yeah. yeah. Right. Well, that's mm. Antigua is southeast of us. Yes, yes. That's the next island, isn't it? Coming up on your immediate right hand side would be the statue of Robert Lovell in Bradshaw. He was the first premier and he was in the days of V.C. Bird. Yes, yes. And that's the statue of Bradshaw. Oh, is the man. Yeah. Putting up your hand and saying, power to the people. Yeah. Mm. That the freedom fight. Comrade. Yeah. Was it a nonsense fella, man? Mm -hmm. Just business. Take a bulldozer and push down your... your and that's a V.C. Bird. That's an old boy. That boy is a man too. I'm going to look for that. They come from a different school. Mm -hmm. That's the barbie, you mean, because if I don't want to, no, no matter what money you have. Well, okay. in the old days, we grew up with pork. Burn them, lean them, pork, some, some, burn them. And let me tell you, it's, as I get older, then you realize the values that he taught. Mm -hmm. He taught you to be contented with what you have. Yep, yep. Let me take the money. Like you use some bandits, 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 bandits. Be contented with what you have. I was I was a young boy when you had the busy bird. And one of the things that I remember when he used to come on because when we didn't have TV we used to watch ABS. No, not ABS. From Antigua. Not ABS. Z A L. Z A L. Okay, might be Z A L. Yeah, Z A L and Z I Z. I know yeah. those two names synonymous to each other. And we used to watch Antigua. And that time we had Gwen Ton. Gwen Right, right. She's still alive? No, she died. No, went on with cooking magic and um, when you see busy board come on the television you say there's some people come here, they want to build a hotel. <laughs> they let them, it's a let they them build a the hotel because they can't walk with it. And let me tell you, you know, our people gonna get work to do in the hotel, you know. <laughs> I tell you, are you saying joy? Are you saying joy listening? Um, we see man, we see say, we have to get work. Put the people to work in this country. That's the island out there. No, that that's not stage. That's not um Saint Martin. Okay. Saint Martin is for the dog. Okay. We don't know. I can't remember what it is. Okay, we don't remember that. Okay, go back to VC. <laughs> so go back to VC. Yeah. So go back to VC. VC, you stamp anybody and tell them no, not yet. VC was something else. Man, I went down to say gets. And they still have sugar cake down there, man. Rain and everything. We got mountain, but we got beach. We got beach and beach for every day of the year. <laughs> something else man. Then comes Leicester. Hmm. Stop. Take over from BC. No, Walter. Walter took over. Walter took over. Then he went jail. Yeah. Walter went jail. Walter take the um, public works truck to carry stuff for his personal thing and man, they said he just jail. So, I think I have seen it's, it's, it's Okay, now we're coming up towards Deep Bay. And in Deep Bay, you have the movement of the ocean where you could recognize the Atlantic pushing towards the Caribbean as it sort of comes around. You will be able to see the Caribbean pushing its way towards the Atlantic. And, um, it's a beautiful view. On the right hand side, and our way back up, we came down on the Caribbean side of things. And on our way back up, we'll go back up on the Atlantic, and we'll still have the volcano on our right hand side. Mm -hmm. Mount Loyamiga. Loyamiga. 
because Mount, Mount Misery keep bothering me, you know what I mean? Because oh, that's what I know all my life. I until that. I remember I watching TV and they talking about like the change of name and you change your name in 1983. Uh, oh, okay. Because it's not so miserable. She's a beautiful mountain. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the misery name. Yeah. Straight ahead, if you notice the ocean, you have water flowing from left to right. And you have straight from us. Coming in. Yeah. Now straight ahead out would be Barbados. If you travel down, you're gonna find Barbados is the one that sticks us out right in the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. And if you travel in a southeast direction, then you're gonna end up in Antigua. And where you're gonna have all those. And if you go deeper into south, you'll find Monstrat. Mm -hmm. But if you go down, you'll go down the line of Trinidad and St. Lucia and all of that. Mm -hmm. But the one that sticks out in the Atlantic would be Barbados. Barbados. If you continue direct east, you'll end up in Africa. Yes, yes. Africa is east of the Caribbean. East of the Caribbean, and you'll have the trade wind hello, hello. that will continue to come from Africa towards the Caribbean. Hello, good afternoon. How are you doing? Okay, right. Okay. She's relaxing, listening mm -hmm. to her radio, hoping that somebody will come and buy. Yes. Then, uh, then, just in case. See how clean and nice the water is? Yes, yes. Yeah. No. So Brimstone Hill is all the way back behind there then? Behind there. Right, yes. okay. We know okay. around and the Atlantic side and we are on the other side of the island and we are heading up towards Bastia mm -hmm. from Deep Bay. You're down at a place called Deep Bay where you had one of the famous hotels that called the Golden Lemon. The owner, the proprietor have a person, his name was Arthur Lehman, and it was one of the most famous hotels in St. Kitts. Those were the days when we had sugar cane, and we wasn't planning and um, going into tourism. The premier of the day was saying, let America go with their dirty dollar. You don't want a dirty dollar. That's what was the cruise. The sail boat coming is in the problem, Charlie. No, no, no. It's in the. It's a harbor. You have a natural harbor. harbor. Okay. Soon as you go from shore, you just drop straight down okay. deep. So, yeah. well, what the name of that fort? They are sugar plantation. That's um, not Brotherson. Okay. I okay. think it's part of Brotherson. Okay. And your right hand side, if you look up on your right, you will notice you have a beautiful view, landscape of the sweeping view from the ocean towards the volcano. Mm -hmm. The sea grapes, these are sea grapes, those right? Sea grapes, yes. Big fat tree. The old man, those trees are old. Yeah, yeah. Can tell. They've been here for years. I burn with them, <laughs> and they look like I'm gonna leave them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a ride around to sink it, folks. Can't deserve better. If I'm repeating myself, forgive me. I'm enjoying this little tour. And I will do it again. Maybe from another direction. You never know, backwards. Yeah. Yeah, especially in Basti, the foundation are all cut stone. And in the left side is the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, rough part of it. And Black Sand Beach. 
Yes. You hardly will find anyone swimming in the of Atlantic. Of course, of course, man. Because it's dangerous well, they're rough, from the yeah. And we have lost lots of our people on the Atlantic side. Beautiful. You know, they look, look easy, but trust me, they're more than... Yes, they're rough. Crashing of the waves. Yeah, they find more churches on this side. There's Kai on this side, Kai, and then you're going to Marriott. Coming up on your left hand side is a permanent hotel, and you're going to Sadler's Village. Lady, am I putting you to sleep out here? Alright. Sadler's village. And when you clear the hill, you'll be going past towards Black Rocks. Positive way or negative way? It's negative way, where it's going to blow? No. no. So, but, uh, the volcano have been years. sleeping for over past some 400 years, I was told. Uh -huh. And I have climbed the volcano several times, mm -hmm. went down in the crater. In the crater, there are different parts. You see, obviously, the parts at um, the wrong place. At the wrong place. Uh -huh. The small craters. volcano have things like that boiling. Natural. Natural boiling. Mm -hmm. So Natural if you pot. put if you put a potato on a string and put it in one of those boilers, you yeah, can cook. It will cook and you take it out and you could eat it. Yeah. But you pray to God that you don't drop in. Mm -hmm. All right. All you gotta do is dip it in. And well, you come out pull it down and pull it down there for a while and then it's gonna come out cooked. Understood what you mean. Coming up on your left hand side is St. John's Anglican Church. Mm -hmm. Beautiful church building sitting by itself. And now we are going in towards Belgium. where you had the spilling of the volcano where oh. some people stop for lunch depends on the these some people skip some people skip Gripston Hill you come to Black Rock. okay mm. you take one mm. and you skip one whichever you decide okay mm. vendors down here vendors down here sometimes people come down the water 
Yes, yes. It depends on what they choose to do. Mm -hmm. Black Rock. Black Rocks. Yes, good tour, good tour. Well deserved. Okay folks, that was Black Rocks. We're gonna take a cruise right up towards Bastia. Yes. What you can do is enjoy the view as we pass through the villages yeah. and get back on track. If you feel like having lunch at um, Alfredo or you wanna go to Boozies, your wish is my command. You just say it and yeah, I will do it. Name Boozies on this trip, we can pass. Yes, Boozies on this trip is further out of, it's yeah. outside of Bastia. Outside of Bastia. Okay, talk about that, right? Said it again? Because we were looking for a taxi tomorrow. No, we're gonna take the bus now. The bus is gonna run tomorrow. I'm not sure we're gonna have one tomorrow because tomorrow is like a holiday. Yeah. We need we need to go to Boozy to Boozy on the strip tomorrow for lunch. They're gonna open and tomorrow for lunch? Yeah. Okay. That's you have a car to give it to us, we can always call you, right? Before I forget it's done. Yeah. And now it's cold. Yeah. What about the airport run tomorrow? Send booze, send range, and go and pick them up. Go to the airport and let them take a taxi. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to go back to the village. Yeah, but um, we'll see, um, Ranger. We'll give you a call later or so and arrange. Coming up on your right hand side is Tabernacle Village. Tabernacle uh, Village. We're now 10 miles away from Bastia. The Ten miles away from Bastion. If you notice, they have some road repairing going on, which is really comfortable. Patches mm -hmm. going in. We just pass over the train trailway. Now we're really on the train coming. The person come on and look at the gate. Come on, come on. Somebody is here before the train come to close the gate. Okay. That 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 can be and people on the once, once the driver see the gate closed, you have to wait. You know you have to wait. You can see how one of those windmills stand up again. Sugar mill, yeah. These are the only place you had the aqueduct where water power was used was in um, where we came from. By yeah, oh, yes, yes, I can see that. So there's a piece of engineering there again. Yes. So they had the um, spinning wheel there when the water flowing in. Yes, correct, you got it. To grind that you stuff. Grind sugar cane, yes. Yes. Correct. Yes, it was. Well, when 
you have it was, about the Nikali Tenakoda? Yeah. The drink in his aqua for you? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, Ali Water, most of our drink, if you get done that, if you take out your belly. Poof. Now we're going into Manchon's project. Remember when you go on the train, you don't leave the track. No, you just stand up. No, just, stand up. just on the track, you can't come out to go to places. Yes. So it's down the road you're going, and that's it. This one might not be that because of this, this, this slice, it don't go that fast. Mm -hmm. eh? I'm Something to do once in a What I don't like to feel like if it's twisting. Not that idea. Like if it's going to be real. I don't know. 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 I Oh yeah, yeah, those high speed trains are always doing it. Yeah. 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 And my brother's coming home, what happened with the so long? The train just stopped. It stopped, and they had to turn back, and they had to wait for the train to get another train to continue to play in this way. Look at the beautiful landscape over here. Look at that. Mountains, the valleys. Lush green. Sugar cane is here but not at a commercial thing because what happened is that the price of sugar went up and the the production cost was still the same. And so it was causing the country to produce sugar, you see. So we had to definitely drop it like a hot potato and continue. That's the sugar cane here. Back here. Okay. Huh? Sure no, I'm not gonna get sure the I enjoy the store. Mm -hmm. That's how you feel. Uh -huh. Okay. This is one of my favorite flowers. Panjipani. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Panjipani, I love it. Mm -hmm. Trust me, that's gonna take up all the smell in the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful smelling flower. No, we don't need any fresh now. As we continue towards Bastia, we know what Bowie Ridge. If, if, if you had smell us, you wouldn't know, you would have the same smell that I'm smelling. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that I'm not smelling you. Uh, yeah, St. Kitts, St. Christopher, Bastia. Yes. All these here is nursery. Who want plants to buy, you can just come here and buy. Whatever you want, wherever you want, take them, that's the business. Some people come here from St. Martin to buy plants. Mm. And put them on a boat and send them to yeah. St. Martin. Now we at Bowyer Range, and your right hand side is Fred's Bakery. And, um, Wow, that smell good. Yeah. Yeah. Smell like the bread. Morning, yeah. They supply the supermarket with bread. Oh, so mm. what's the brand? Fritz. Fritz Bakery, yes. Okay, but I hope we don't get last bread. No, no, no. They change it. They, they put down, put down fresh bread every day. Okay. So why they're going to put out bread by 12 o'clock this afternoon. Now we're going into large wow, village. Very lush and green. Yeah. 
side is Windsor School of Medicine, medical school, and this medical school contribute lots of to our economy, and we now going into Kayan Village. And um, the left side is this side here, yeah, side here, and have a platform. Yeah, that's here, yeah, that's to show you the new speed here, yeah. fast So the color would be set here. Yeah. 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 cameras and the, the thing yet. Eventually they will do it now. Because it's a, mo a money-making thing. You get a lot of accidents here? Not really, but you do get some accidents. Is this a sky and village? Kayan. Kayan.
man. You got a lot of sheep in sinkies. Yes. I think they're effing with us in Antigua with those roads, you know. Huh? <laughs> they're effing with us in Antigua with those roads, man. Miles and miles and no more. Yeah, but they could, what they could do, even though you have concrete base, you can, you can tap it they with asphalt. They need to you know. send for the kitchen to teach them how to build roads. You could cap it with asphalt. Yeah, but, but, but what you're saying there, you range, that's exactly what they're doing. Hey, they need to send for the kitchen to build the roads. I said they need, they're effing with us with those roads, man. I can tell you they pushed. Every government that gets in there, they're full of F. F and F. Yes, I'm mad. I'm mad because, look, I drive every day like this, you know. They piss me off, man. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at the smooth, smooth footage you're getting. A round and round sink. It. I can't drive around Antigua. Look at the smooth right here. Look at the smooth curve here. Even if you're tall. Oh, my God. She made me mad. You know? Why he crashed like that, right? I've never heard him like that. Because you get him angry. Yeah. Like you came to see kids for them to push the bitch out. I want them to see this and they're going to see it too. They're going to love this, man. Miles and miles. And now, obviously, got that thousand politicians living around the place. And, the thing and is regular people get their kind of Yeah, we're on the outskirts right regular now. Regular people get their shit. But it's not going to be on the outskirts. It's how it's Everybody mm -hmm. get it. And you know what they don't have here? You don't have here? Anybody willfully blocking the traffic and chatting and obstructing the traffic? Just a smooth flow. Only when, when we reached there, I saw about three cars parked on the side of the road. Other than that, it's all smooth flowing. And you have a lot of traffic in St. Kitts too. Come here, I just have to make you get mad. Yeah, something is wrong. We go over to Nevis, even the roads over there are good. Yeah, you don't have to look down, that's the thing that you walk and look up and go away, but you don't think about the roads. The roads are the Nevis and the clean. Exceedingly clean. You all don't have traffic, I mean, little water. So what are we seeing on your right? Up there? No, they have, but they don't the work. Range. Okay, all right. The range, the range, all right. what are you seeing up there? Is the, the rocky, rocky. Up here is where we remind all the rocks to build There's enough the here in you. No, 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 no this, it, that's, that's the caboose. That's clear area for the train to come. That yeah. way he, once he drives on the track, he's going to give clearance for the yeah, train right, to follow. Right. Make sure there's wrong, no obstruction in it. If something is wrong, he will see it first. Mm -hmm. And so he will be able to get back to the train and say, stop the train. Mm -hmm. We have an issue here. So. Right. What do you call it? The caboose? Caboose, yeah. Caboose. yeah. So like how we, we had it in Antigua, too, you know. Yeah, yeah I saw yeah, the train it. Coming, yeah. I good. I'm good. We have it right here. We'll cover it, man. I'm yeah. glad. We love it, cover it. He's gonna get it on his snow. Yeah, right, I'm getting and it. He has wanted it. You're waiting. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. I thought God wanted to do some guys. Then don't tell our food the next month, maybe. Oh yeah, here comes the local people. Da hey, this like Darby and Jones. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yes. 
saying Kit Scenic Railway. Right on. Right on, babe. See your bloody hand, me answer. I like that one, dear. So, when it's coming back, it turns around somewhere? Because yeah, it's going to turn around at La Valley. Right. Yeah. No, he's going to close his end. gate and he's going to drive up. And open another, and close open off another, another one. Wait until he comes. Okay. Open another one. Uh -huh. First thing going to approach is the caboose. Going to let the caboose through, and once the caboose comes, then the train mm -hmm. goes. Blocks, oh, yeah, yeah. Send the blocks. Send the blocks, yes. Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. So, where are you? Where am I? What is that? No, no, no. Only thing, only thing we take from here is the um, oh, right stone. Is the right answer. And everything comes over here. Mm. Because it's not a difference in the blast up here. No, 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 the blast, drill. Okay. You can't use dynamite. Oh. You're going to break this stone to be too small. Yeah. So you want them just the size that you want them, so you put in a excavator. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they are not you kidding? Since I'm a child, that they're digging and nobody can't get it down. Mm -hmm. I mean, them digging it. Okay, now on your left hand side is the solid base that's where we dump our garbage, mm. and they have cells up on the hill behind yeah. here. That's where yes. the garbage is called solid base. All garbage goes to that area. No okay, spell. all right. And they weigh the garbage when they go in mm. and they tell you where to dump it. They dump it in the cells and they cover the cells and you dump it more cells and you cover more cells. Yes, so they, they self they self um sort of the heat that kills the um no smoke, no bacteria, no mm. smell. And the island the Coming up on your immediate right hand side is a mall that is built before its time, ahead of its time. The shopping mall that is again ahead of its time. Still under construction and that will show it with finish. And that is beside the airport. That's supposed to have a movie tall and I'll get the inside here. Grab a driven and branch the airport right there. Okay, now we are back in Bast here and we are make, have finally made the loop completely around the island and um, we are now at the Robert Trevelyan Bratcher Airport roundabout. As we cross the roundabout and we go down into the El Capitol, Passing and our right, the old and dilapidated and abandoned sugar factory. So a plastic bag. When you come in up here to the airport, you'll walk on this road, come straight up. Mm. On the right hand side is the Fred, a little further down. That's the generator that generates the electricity through mm. the whole island. Mm -hmm. And what we have is step up transformer to keep it going. Right. We use diesel and fossil fuel, which I hope that we should diversify soon and use more solar panels. And solar take, and wind. Solar and wind, yes. If you look straight out, you'll be able to see some of the ships are in the harbor. And this road is called the Factory Road. Mm -hmm. And all this used to control by the factory managers who manage the sugar industry mm -hmm. at the factory line. If you folks want to go to Boozies or you want to go to um, whichever way you just tell me, and where, that's where I take you. Where we find our way from there? 
Yeah. Well, you just put it out where you pick us up from, okay. and we'll settle everything there. And okay, got you. We have your card. We won't lose it. And we want to say thank you for that tour, man. It was an educational tour for us. And I will recommend you to anybody. I recommend St. Kit as a visit for anybody who want to visit. Thank you. You have, have not been told. <laughs> yeah. On the left hand side is the light industrial site where you have offices and banks and Nobody's holding up the traffic up ahead. No, that shouldn't be. Patcher Road is supposed to be just like he had never had been damaged. Oh yes, Jace, you gotta stop your sugar cake. Yep. You gotta Come stop. On, the... Cut the and yeah. You gotta cut it, patch it, and when you drive on it, it's supposed to feel like it never been damaged. That's it. Uh, that's true. Why are you putting sugar cake in them? Like, yeah, yeah, just drop them in and, and you and you roll it in. The drivers roll it in. No, you can't do that. It's the bus station here. That's the bus station for yeah. this side. The, one, the other one down on the front is for the west side. Uh -huh. right. Well, I still have a lot in sync to cover. Public but, Works Department on yeah. your left. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, Public Works Department. <laughs> and these are some low-income houses that go oh, in You see the type of low-income houses here? Residential. You see how they look? Low income. You see how they, they see how they look, Antigua? Oh. They are not allowed to hang any... Jaws, jaws are closed outside. Uh, like it look like Spanish resident. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, they have rules and regulations, yeah. and you govern by the rules, or else you get kicked out. Well, I don't know, you won't be, <laughs> you won't be there anymore. You get kicked out. The guy who lived here, he had a stroke. He went here with the stroke to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So, well, good to me, if I'm about to. Yeah, but he ain't going up now, he doesn't. He's moving here. It's sick. You can come out and sit down on the balcony. Mm -hmm. So you got a basil tree. Mm -hmm. And on the other side is the Seventh Adventist Church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you seen that already? Yeah, we walked down here. Oh, okay. And yeah, we were just walking for fun. <laughs> we reach walking? up to the stoplight and then turn. Yeah. You don't walk for fun, but I don't walk for real. Well, so. Yeah, they had a church that they built in Advent, Adventist church building, basically, you know? Well, <laughs> Adventist, let me see. We passed one in K and I don't remember. I can't recall that one. Now that we are getting back in town and if the temperature changed for you and you don't like it, we can uh -huh. put some ear in our ear and if you we need No, to. it's good. It's good right now. All right, back in this one, I'll go yeah. Yeah. You're getting your vitamin D3. Yeah. From one D1 right up to two D6. You know about that? Are you all one? Not a picture. You should as, take one with him and all. You look as if. Um, you do the selfie, man. You know? Okay, yes. Um, thanks for the tour around St. Kitts, man. Mm -hmm. You've you been a good guy. Mm -hmm. Thank right? you. Thank you for your kindness. And words. we're going to see you again. Yeah, Hopefully. Definitely. All right? No problem. You take all care. Best, right? Okay, good. Enjoy your lunch. Yes. So yes, folks, we just um, take about the three and a half hour tour there around the island and Brimstone Hill. Yep. And now we are back in Bass there at the circus, at the nearly called Piccadilly Circus right here in beautiful Bass there. And we're gonna chow 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 once more somewhere right in this beautiful town.
So they look a little bit busy here. What's the time? I think we're late today, no? No, we just uh, You're on time? Two o'clock? We might be good. We might be good. So we are going to our green and orange door for a little chow 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 again. Mm -hmm. As I said, we take a long tour around and we got to do some refilling right here. Mm -hmm. can't, deserve a, can't deserve a better time than this. Yeah, people coming out indeed. Yeah. I know, right? 